today we have the Oklahoma City Thunder Book Bus here at Arrowhead, and they are handing out a free book to all of our kindergartners, our first graders, and one of our SPED classes. It's something that they do for nonprofits and Title I schools. Um, they allow up to 120 students, so we chose grade levels based on what we thought would get about that right amount of kids, and it's just something fun and different that the kids can do. It's a very beneficial program where we try to give a book to as many kids as we possibly can throughout the state of Oklahoma. So I'm very fulfilled when it um, comes to this because this is kind of what we signed up for when it comes to from a community relations standpoint of being able to impact as many kids as humanly possible. Um, we actually just recently, about a couple months ago, gave away our 200,000th book um, since 2009. So 200,000 kids were impacted. Um, because of books that we gave to them um, over the last um, almost 15 years. Everything they say is exciting. They make everything exciting for them. So they tell them how big these shoes are and how many books they have on the bus and then they all get to choose their own. So they really get to pick through the bookcases and choose what they want instead of just being handed something and told they have to read it. Everyone's very excited to get their free book. The chick life cycle starts when the hen lays an egg and then the egg turns into an embryo, then the, then the embryo hatches into a hatchling and then it turns into a baby chick then grows into an adult and the life cycle starts over and over again. For three or four weeks all I talked and slept and dreamt about was baby chicks and chickens. We have nonfiction text features that we have to teach in second grade, so we actually made a nonfiction textbook with all about chickens and everything we've learned. We wrote main idea and details about chickens, so we touched writing. We even did some measuring about how far chickens could fly to touch some math objectives. We even had some chicken words that we learned how to spell. They take 21 days to hatch. Handle an egg like when you put a light under an egg. You, you see the chick, the chick, the moving inside the egg. On the second day of the incuba incubation, they have a already have a heartbeat. Chicks use an egg tooth to break out of their um, shell. Pipping means that they are pecking to come out of their shell. Everybody loved the chicks and we're so excited and learn patience and cooperation and all these things, nonfiction, everything I can think of they learned. Picked him up like this and I transferred him into the black tub. We um, watched it hatched and it was so fun and it was chirping so much. We get to see the baby chicks hatch and then we sang, sang happy birthday to the baby chicks because they were so cute. Seeing the chicks hat, a chick hatch because I saw something take its first breath into the world. The chicks are going to go back to the farm and live their best life. It was such a great learning and culture building experience. We're here.
here tonight for our Highland Park PTA Family Literacy Night. It's a great opportunity for families and their kiddos to engage and read together. We have a camp read a lot, we have bingo, we have sight words, we have comprehension games, we have inflatables, we have an author reading to students, and we also revealed our new book vending machine, which we just did a ribbon cutting for, where students earn tokens for showing the tiger traits. We're really proud to have all our parents in the building tonight and to be celebrating literacy because we know as a child, if you grow up loving to read, then you're gonna learn to read so much better. So it's really all about loving to read and doing it together as a family. In Broken Arrow, we have core values and our teachers live by those. And one of the primary core values that our teachers display is that they are passionate about learning. So when we can engage our students and our families with that passion about learning, then they're gonna come and learn even better. And that's what BA does. And we're just so proud to be a part of that and to see families actually representing that and living in BA and coming and moving to BA because of those values. Being in the district for 18 years, I've seen the district art show evolve and change. And this year it has just exploded tremendously. I'm always amazed at the crowds that come to the art show and you're just blown away by how much they love their art. Even if it's an art that, that a kid just has one piece, they stand there so proudly next to it and take a hundred pictures and take pictures with grandma and grandpa. It's such a great family event for everybody. I love the creativity of art, and I think it's pretty cool that um, other people can come to see things that I've made. Elementary art is so important. We are exploring different mediums and techniques, and the kids get to practice with designing and creating and putting their own perspective into their work. It's inspiring to see what other kids are building. Um, we're all learning the same techniques, but there's lots of ways you can create to, to learn that technique or skill. And they're so excited to go see artwork from other schools and then also from the kids that are in junior high and high school. They kind of see what they build because it's so impressive. It kind of gets them excited for their future. Our teachers are making kids explore their imaginations and, and, and just explore their creativity. And that is just like, that is the greatest thing to see is just those kids express their creativity through art. Broken Arrow Public Schools founding, our schoolhouses have taken on many shapes, sizes, and locations around our beautiful city. The bricks and beams of those facilities makes them schoolhouses, but it's not what makes Broken Arrow home. A home is made of hopes and dreams. It's because of you, your hopes and your dreams, and your ability to make the hopes and dreams of our students come true. That's why BA is home.
because of you, there is no other place I'd rather call home. And always remember, the best is yet to come. Ooh, there's no place like home. Ooh, there's no place like home. Good evening and welcome to the 115th commencement ceremony for Broken Arrow High School. Tonight we celebrate the class of 2023. I'm Ethan Scott alongside Bianca Reeder. You are watching the 2023 BAHS graduation pre-show presented by Arrow Vision. We will be your guides this evening along with Evan Rivera and Scout Haggard as we count down the big moment we've all been waiting for. We have some brand new Arrow Vision content as well as some of the best student produced BHS videos of the year. The class of 2023 has waited 13 years for this evening. And as the group of seniors who finished their freshman year in high school online during the COVID lockdown, it's hard to believe that this evening is finally here. Tonight, we celebrate not only all we have overcome, but all we have accomplished. First up on tonight's show, we hear from many members of the class of 2023 as they share some of their best memories from this one-of-a-kind school year. After that, we spotlight our Broken Arrow High School site Teachers of the Year, along with the Beyond and Above Support Employee of the Year and District Teacher of the Year with special AeroVision videos that premiered at this year's annual Star Wars Gala. Check out these videos and more. I'd have to say my favorite memory here at Broken Arrow High School has to be the little moments, um, like from walking to class with your friends to going and performing with your show choir and all the trips and the people that I've met along the way. I think some of my favorite ones though have been the different orchestra contests that I've been a part of, just getting to travel with the whole group and getting to perform music together. It's always been a lot of fun. My favorite memory as a Broken Arrow student was this year and it was the first game of the football season. We were in Bentonville and just seeing everybody out there supporting the Tigers driving all the way out to Arkansas to support us and it was just a great community, great like environment to be in. Probably one of my best memories is leadership retreat. Both years I went, I went my junior and senior year, and it's just something different that I feel like a lot of schools don't do, and it definitely gets you out of your comfort zone and builds you really close to a lot of students you've probably never seen before. One of my favorite memories of being at BHS has definitely been being a part of the Airbrook staff. I've been a staff member for three years, and it's been so amazing getting to see these people come and go, and just be there with you, making the book, and putting all these memories into it together. Being able to be Shrek was such a surreal experience because it's been something that's been joked about us doing my entire time here, and we actually got to do it. And it was just a lot of fun being able to bring this really beloved character to life. My entire experience with the Pride of Broken Arrow is kind of my favorite memory because I don't really know that I would have much of a place here or much of any friends if I weren't there. Um, I'm a band kid through and through, I'm a nerd, um, and I kind of found my home through them, um, but it, it just allowed me to experience so much and meet so many people, and uh, now I have a family here at Broken Arrow. The friends and like just the family that I've made here, I've joined a lot of clubs and a lot of things, 
um, pride's definitely been those are my girls they've definitely been there for me for like every everything and I love them so much I'm really gonna miss the community we have here because there's so many kids but yet we're all connected in some ways and everyone here has been so supportive and helpful and uplifting some of the things that I'll miss once I leave VA is the community that resolves around campus. Our community is made up of countless teachers, mentors, and leaders who ultimately make the VA experience one to remember. Uh, one of the teachers who's had a really big impact on me is my leadership teacher, Mr. Drake. He has really shown me how to be a really good person inside and outside of school and in the community and become a really good leader. Ms. Carolyn Harger, who's one of the leadership support staff, um, just always being able to talk to her about anything. I know one day I was having a real tough day and I just went in her office and, you know, she just let me talk and then I left and I felt a lot better. And, you know, it's great to know that I have those people on campus that I can talk to and that have invested in me and want to see me succeed. Got to give a shout out to Mr. Bailey and Dr. Stoby. I think they've been the most helpful in guiding me towards what I want to do with my career and they've been really inspiring to see them as leaders in the community and Dr. Stoby has really pushed me to get into research in the lab and Mr. Bailey has really helped me find my voice. Um, Mr. Summers over at Vanguard and at the beginning of this year he said something to me that really like impacted me and it stuck with me all through this year and it just shaped my view of things. He said, um, Will, is today a good day or a great day? And he said, having a bad day is not an option. Um, and then that, that just really showed me to find the good in every situation and in everything bad that's happening, there's always some good in it that you can find. So the main thing I think Broken Arrow has instilled in me is the importance of community. Uh, it's obviously a very big high school campus, but as soon as I found like, my place and the people I wanted to be around and got connected with them, it all of a sudden felt a lot smaller. And I know that a lot of my you know, nerves about going off to college next year have been diminished. I feel like VA and like even just all the classes I've taken have instilled in me just um, a really good work ethic of like that you can do even what you think is impossible. Um, I'd say like all of my teachers have pushed me to go as far as I can go and to impact as many people as I can and because BA is such a big district I believe that it is also instilled within me uh, an ability to connect with people that I wouldn't normally connect with and people that I wouldn't normally meet. Um, the main thing I'm going to take away from being at school here is to definitely just like completely be myself and not really care about what anyone is like judging me for or anything. Uh, Color Guard has given me such like a new level of confidence in myself um, and that's like I will always hold that with me forever. Uh, some advice that I would give to the underclassmen is be comfortable being uncomfortable. Just kind of step out of your comfort zone and do things that you wouldn't normally find yourself doing because at the end of the day I think you're going to have a lot more fun and a way better high school experience that way. The advice I would give to the younger students would probably just to be take everything slow and just stop and enjoy it because it'll go by fast and if you just enjoy it it'll make it worth your while and you'll have a lot of fun. No matter what always believe in yourself and once you're, if you're feeling stuck in life, do something differently. Make a power move and change your experience at VA to become one to remember. I'm Lisa Moore. I'm one of the Broken Arrow High School Teachers of the Year. I teach interpersonal studies. I've been in the district for 15 years. I taught for 11 years in elementary. This year has been unique for me. I recently got my master's and am looking towards moving into administration. I um, had the opportunity to interview for a counseling position and at semester I was named the new counselor at Highland Park Elementary. My high schoolers are amazing. Having 157 in my classes this year, um, it was a hard transition. I miss them, I miss my team. But going to elementary school and all the love I get from 700 sweet little babies at Highland Park to an amazing staff who is supportive of one another and just lifts one another up daily. And really 
some of the conversations I have are the same that we had at high school. High schoolers are just big elementary kids. They all want the same thing. They want to be listened to, they want to be heard, and they want to be cared for. My little granddad was a teacher. Um, he was born in 1899, and he became a teacher in 1923. He taught me just to love people and to love learning. And I knew I always wanted to be a teacher so that I could help others love learning too. I have been lucky enough that when I taught elementary, I taught first, third, and fifth grade, and my last group of fifth graders are seniors at the high school this year. And I have a couple of them in class. And that has been such a blessing to see where they were then and where they are now and to see that they have a plan for their future and where they're going. It's absolutely amazing. Hi, I'm Cynthia Janelle Wilson. I teach math at Broken Arrow High School. I'm going into my 10th year. I've lived in Broken Arrow since fourth grade. I graduated from Oklahoma State in 2006, actually with a degree in elementary education. And it turns out elementary education is not where I'm supposed to be. So high school it is. Um, Dr. Dale took a chance on me at South and I haven't looked back and can't imagine doing anything else whatsoever. I actually was not super gifted with math. I had to work really hard to be good at math and I got really lucky in that I had teachers that were super patient with me, in particular my AP Calculus teacher, Miss Patch, she's long since retired. Uh, that poor woman had to sit with me like every day to help me through all that content and you know I did eventually make a five on that test and I just thought back you know she was able to do that for me who was not gifted with math and I wanted to be able to do that for for somebody else. Chris Bailey and Jill Taylor they're two of my best friends I couldn't imagine doing this job without them you know I've got a really good PLC with Kathy Toddy and Kim Trueblood they support me we support each other they encourage you with this last year it was Chris that was Chris and Brenda Lewis that were running it and he couldn't tell me, he knew. That man knew that I had gotten it and he has a good poker face. I see Crystal come across, come in the room and I'm given a test and she comes in, I'm like, oh my gosh, I cried. And I couldn't do anything else done that day because I was just overwhelmed. There's so many good teachers at the high school. To be recognized out of a whole staff like that when I like to stay in the background is, is enormous. Nate Pittman is an amazing leader in our building as our lead security officer. Nate embodies the qualities that you would expect of his position. His willingness to serve others, his knowledge on safety for students and staff is huge. His eagerness to grow and help others grow professionally as well is always amazing. However, what stands out most about Officer Pittman is how he goes about accomplishing these qualities through his focus on relationships. Officer Pittman strives to build quality relationships with students and staff. Time after time, his engagement with kids has helped ensure their safety and well-being. He knows almost all of our students by name, has special handshakes with students, and some students even have special nicknames for him. He's a natural leader and wants others to be successful. His drive to engage all kids with some type of connection is seen every day. We have not worked with a better officer than Officer Pittman. We trust him in every way to keep our schools safe and build positive relationships with our students. Thanks, Thanks Nate. Nate. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I am Amanda Bowser and I teach fifth grade at Rosewood Elementary and this is my 18th year of teaching. All of my teaching experience has been in Broken Arrow and I started my career 
at Oak Crest Elementary as a fifth grade teacher and later um, ended up in a role as a math interventionist. And that taught me a lot and was a wonderful time in my life for me professionally and personally. And then when they opened Rosewood a few years ago, I just really felt the call to be back in the classroom. You're gonna have one minute to decide as a team how you want to do this. What is your plan? Okay, do you understand your instructions? It's like I kind of always knew when I was a math interventionist, like I'm not quite done um, being in the classroom. And so that was just the opportunity I took um, to head back into the classroom. And so I get to have two groups of kids, one, one group in the morning and one in the afternoon. I think that's pretty impactful for these kids that are about to go to sixth grade. It kind of gives them a chance to see what that might be like to switch teachers. And I get to work really closely with my colleague. And um, man, she and I are pretty tight. And so we just feel like that's a well-oiled machine. And I think that's what makes our partnership in departmentalizing uh, really successful is that cohesion between us. What did you do to make that collaboration so successful? What happened before we actually did the test? When I think back to my own school experience, um, fifth grade was a pretty pivotal year for me. Now, as a teacher, that is what draws me to fifth grade, so I'm really enjoying that. It's made for off-road. Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed those videos. Thanks for watching us live on AeroVision and inside the BOK Center. I'm Scout Haggard alongside Emma Rivera, and we're your co-hosts for the evening. Next up on the show, we spotlight a couple videos from the fine arts world at Broken Arrow High School, including a highlight of the Pride of Broken Arrow's 2022 trip to Grand Nationals in Indianapolis. Scout's being modest, but you may see her in that one. After that, we have a special story about Broken Arrow Middle Schooler Jude Hopp. Hop recently beat brain cancer, and will soon get to go on a unique gold mining trip to Alaska, thanks to the fundraising efforts of Broken Arrow High School students, who raised more than $11,000 during Smile Week. Jude, who has been cancer-free since October, had his dream turned into reality with this amazing surprise, and you can really see the excitement on his face. Check out these AeroVision videos, and we'll be back shortly. Jude Hoff, a middle school student from Oliver Middle School, will fulfill his dream of gold mining in Alaska thanks to Make-A-Wish Oklahoma. After battling brain cancer for eight months, Jude is now cancer-free. BAHS students raised over $11,000 during Smile Week to make his dream come true and surprised him with the news. So a lot of things went into making this happen. Um, we started off uh, in the beginning of the year, in August, we started selling merch and we started um, planning different events. Um, we partnered with a lot of businesses and we had profit nights. But the biggest thing is just direct donations from our community and from our students just coming together to make um, this wish happen. We think it's really important to help the kids in our community who are going through things harder than most of us can ever imagine going through. They have had to put in so much hard work throughout their whole lives. Um, so we think to give them just like a little bit of hope for their future is just really, really important. Granting a Wish has a lot of medical benefits. Um, doctors say all the time about how life expectancy is improved when a wish is granted just because it's um, a positive thing that will happen in a kid's life that encourages them to take their medicine and, you know, do all the things that the doctor wants to make sure that they're able to get their wish granted and it is just so exciting to see that happen. Our student council, we worked um, this whole year and we've had to spend just hours and honestly days and weeks to just prepare for this. Um, we spent the past month getting ready to decorate everything all about um, the things that Jude loves so that he could come and see that. It's incredibly important to me. It's one of the things I care about most since I was lucky enough to be put on this committee last year. Um, doing something for other people um, doing those kinds of things that's always going to be more important to me 
and I think specifically with Jude, like he's beat his cancer journey now, and so it's really cool for us to be a part of that and to give him this. It's just, it, it's a lot to me. <laughs> it's it's just so encouraging, and it's honest. It's an honor to be a part of this to me. Um, to get to work with this organization and to grant these wishes. It's crazy to, to think that I'm actually gonna get to leave and get to go all the way to a new place, like a new climate, and get to see more wildlife that I've never get, got to see here. And I'll have more opportunities to pan for gold there. And may, I might even be able to see Northern Lights. So I just thought it'd be great. And it's awesome what people have done for me. I really love the experience. I just want to thank, say thank you so much. That meant a lot to me. Stars on Stage is a new program with Broken Arrow Public Schools. What we do is we pair students with mixed abilities with star peers. And this year we are doing the Lion King Kids. For Stars on Stage and with the community, it is absolutely magical. You walk in here, first rehearsals all the way through to now. You see the friendships created with the families, how these kids blossom from the beginning to the end. 
You know, our, our approach to this has always been the same, which is this idea that uh, no matter who the population is, that we are going to do the real deal. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be a show. We're not going to, uh, you know, make it make it less or make it easy for them, frankly. No, it's going to be a show, and they are going to do a whole thing. So introducing them to it is wonderful because the great thing is they are open to anything. I mean, they're here to have a good time. They're here to learn. They're here to experience theater. So, and, and frankly, you know, whatever we throw at them, they just take it, and they, they run with it. So and it's just fantastic. As the choreographer for this production, I get to see these kids who think they can't even do three-step turn, and at the end they're doing a three-step turn. They can say their lines without being told, and no matter what, they're gonna do what they do best, is shine. For a long time we were looking for a home for our son Noah. Um, he's on the autism spectrum, and, and he sits at home and likes videos, and plays characters, and puppets together, and really, you know, overall, we want to find a home for him, somewhere where he can express himself and be himself. And what we found is that when he gets around these other kids and he really just understands that everybody has the same abilities, he really just opens up. And when he opens up, it just comes alive. When that light comes on and when the music comes on, he just becomes who he really is. This year, this is of course our, our second year doing it, uh, and we have some new people, and I have uh, a hero. So, and my hero is Hope. It comes in every evening, and if, if I frankly had like as much joy and energy in anything that I do that she has for this production, my life would be just glowing. So it makes me proud to be a part of this and just uh, happy as a human being to see her every evening in the way she is. So she's my hero. I want to be like her. Makes me like a famous movie actor. It makes me feel like Brad Pitt or Danny Vito or... He took me up there and he showed me how to work things. He took me to the basement of props. It's so fascinating what he does. I give a special thanks for him. What someone can experience by becoming a mentor is you will it's a very different experience because you're because a lot of times they they haven't worked with someone with special needs. The teachers do a fantastic job of teaching us how to sing, dance. It's it goes really fast just because of how much fun you're really having. For us, that's that is our our, our main focus as parents is we just want him to be able to express himself. We want him to be able to be himself in in front of other people. And so that this Stars and Stage has given us the ability to really see what he can do and what he can, his potential is. And so, but not only that, but the, all the coaches and all the people who are within the play, they really bring that out of him and they challenge him in a way that is loving and supporting, but at the same time challenges limits. And as parents, there's nothing more that you want is to see your kids really fulfill their full potential. I think the outreach with this program is the ultimate goal. It doesn't have to just be with theater, but it shows school districts alone that there's something else. Special Olympics is amazing. Okay, the arts. Giving these kids the opportunity to grow within the art world. And then what can go from there? Sky's the limit.
most impactful part of being in show choir for me has just been the family that I've made here and how they've taught me to really come out of my shell and embrace who I am as a person. I feel like the person I was going into this group is significantly different than who I am coming out of it and I feel like I really know who I am now and I've accepted myself and I just am ready to go take on the world with the personality that I feel like I have gained. Saying goodbye this year to our Dolly Parton and Porter Wagner show, I mean, I was bawling on stage during my final performance, and I know so many other girls were, and yeah, I think I'm going to miss it. The most impactful part of show choir was definitely the relationships that I made along the way in the seven years that I've been here, and uh, the friendships that I'll have for the rest of my life. Looking back, I would tell my future self that show choir is not always going to be easy for you, but it's always going to be an outlet that you can express yourself with, but it can teach you discipline. If I were to give my younger self some advice for the future, I'd definitely say to take any opportunity I can to improve or learn. Uh, just because this is probably the most enriching part of my life, and I, I want to take those opportunities. I think the most impactful part of this program to me has been just about how much it's motivated me and I mean just coming in every day and having this community of people that's always in your corner it helps push you to a different degree than I think other sports do. I can't see myself without music. I think I was just so brought up on it and I've just been doing it my whole entire life. I can't do anything but sing. Um, to anyone that is considering anything music related I suggest that you do it. Seriously it is the best thing that you can do for yourself. You can really express yourself and you're gonna make so many friends. It's a real family that you're gonna make out there in choir, show choir, jazz choir. And I just think that you should go for it, put yourself out there and don't be afraid. Do what you love because whatever you do in life, if you love it, it's not gonna feel like a chore every single day. If I was to say something to my future self about this past season, I would say that it was a wonderful ride and I had a lot of fun, and I'm so glad the decision was made. And just because life doesn't go as expected, do not stop doing what you love. So Shrek came to be through a series of kind of jokes that our class had done. So throughout high school, kind of the class of 2023 was always to Miss Ellis like, hey, wouldn't it be so funny if we did Shrek the Musical? Just because it's a really funny show to begin with. And so we kind of gave her the idea that we all really wanted to do it. And so that's kind of how we started doing the musical process. We have an audition process, which is three separate days. Our first day is we sing a song from any musical. Our second day is we learn a dance combo, and then after that we get a list of callbacks, and I got called back for Shrek, and I remember going home and singing that song that we had to sing nonstop. What got me started in theater was I watched the eighth grade play in my middle school, and I really wanted to be like they were, and they all seemed like they were having so much fun, and I wanted to do that too. What drove me to be in the musical was all of the people during theater. Um, I love everybody in theater, cast and crew. Theater has impacted me by just giving me a purpose. You know, it's what I want to do after high school. I want to be an actor, and so just being able to show up to class every day and to find joy in what I do is what gives me purpose. My favorite part about Shrek had to be once I was in the makeup and everything, I was no longer Will. Um, I just was Shrek. So then like, I would go, like we had littles in the show, so it was really funny to just scare them by like lurking around a corner and they just come around and go Rrr. My drive to be in the musical was, uh, it's my senior year and to just go big or go home. Um, to everybody in Shrek, um, this has been one of the best play experiences that I've ever had. 
I've met so many lovely friends, so many people that I will cherish forever, and I thank you for making my last one so special. To the cast of the play and the crew, I love you guys so much, and you guys worked so hard. To Miss Ellis, I would like to say thank you for giving me this amazing opportunity, and to the cast and crew, I just want to say thank you for making this the best experience of my life. American Bandmasters Association is a organization of approximately 200 of the finest wind band conductors and composers in America. And each year at their annual conference, they invite four typically university bands to perform at the ABA conference and a professional organization. It's pretty rare that a high school band uh, performs at the ABA. I think in recent times, there's only been about three high school bands in the last probably 10 to 15 years that have performed. So it's, it's a pretty big task to pr produce a program of what is some of the nation's finest music for wind ensemble and to prepare this hour-long concert. Ten different pieces of music and I conduct one piece of music. Every other piece will be at ABA will be conducted by another member of the ABA. It's a little scary to think about a guest conductor coming in that has maybe limited uh, time to rehearse the piece with our kids but one thing that's unique that we've done is we've set up a residency with each of our guest conductors. They've come into Broken Arrow to work with our kids and spend a day or two at Broken Arrow before we get to the ABA so there's, there's a familiarity and they've got a chance to really make some, some final polish to the touches of each of the pieces that they're guest conducting. We're fortunate here at our preview concert tonight to have one of our uh, seven guest conductors and his name is uh, Dr. William Wakefield. He is the Director Emeritus of the uh, University of Oklahoma uh, band program. So our students are getting a, a, just a really real world experience with some amazing musicians and conductors. This may be a cherry on the top of the wind band aspect of what we do. It's kind of a once probably in a career opportunity and maybe once in a program opportunity to have a high school band perform at the ABA. At Broken Arrow Public Schools, the Fine Arts Department is one of the most recognizable departments not only in the state, but also the nation. With top-notch programs that boast dozens of honors and achievements each year, it's no wonder that students enrolled in fine arts excel greatly in academics, in the workforce, and in a future collegiate atmosphere. Fine arts courses help round out an education by incorporating teamwork, socialization skills, discipline, creativity, and cultural awareness into a student's everyday life and beyond. And with some of the best teachers in the state, Broken Arrow's fine arts curriculum is second to none in rigor and amplitude. Being a part of one of our many arts programs has tons of benefits. Meet lots of new friends. Take trips across the region. Showcase your talents for family and friends. Compete in contests and make memories. And find community in a fun and welcoming atmosphere. Choose your adventure and see where it takes you. Classes are available in band, orchestra, visual arts, vocal music, drama, and speech and debate. Where you can learn how to play an instrument, sing in a choir, create pieces of art, or act in a play. Ask your teacher or counselor all about the classes you need to find your fine arts. going on tonight. 
All right, you all, I'm joined along a very special guest, VA graduate. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? I'm Shelby Brewster, owner of Indigo Tie-Dye and Rainbow Bowl. Awesome. Well, we're so excited to be here tonight. Why don't you go ahead and explain what's going on in the studio tonight? Yeah, so we have AeroVision here with us tonight. We did custom t-shirts. They say AeroVision on them, and they're tie-dyeing their own tonight. Well, if somebody wants to do something similar to what's happening tonight, how can they get in contact with you yeah, all? Yeah, so we have a storefront in downtown Broken Arrow. You can call us, email. We're on all social media platforms, and you can just walk in anytime. Awesome. Thank you, Shelby. I'm joined alongside Tatum. Now, Tatum, what was the process like of tie-dyeing? Uh, it was really cool. It's not something I've ever really gotten to do before, so getting to come and kind of try it out with other people who had never gotten to do it before was such a fun experience. Now that we're all in a club together, it was a great bonding experience, I think, for all of us. So, Riley, what was your favorite part about tonight's tie-dyeing? My favorite part is probably just the time that I got to spend with my yearbook people and just getting closer to everyone. Awesome. All right, we're here with Coda. Coda, have you ever tie-dyed before? No, I have not. This is my first time ever being here, so. Would you say you enjoyed the process? Oh yeah, it was so fun. Uh, the environment here is great. Uh, you know, if you were hungry, you can get some uh, bowls, but it's great, I love it. All right, now I'm joined alongside the Indigo Alien and of course, Mr. Hurling. Now, Mr. Hurling, I saw you brought your son in earlier. What do you think this experience is like for younger kids? I thought this was an amazing experience. I've never been here before. Um, it was just great to be able to be hands-on with my son and uh, just do a fun activity, something I've never done before either. And so definitely looking forward to coming back and creating more shirts. Awesome. Alrighty, we just wrapped up with the very first Aerovision night here at Indigo Tie-Dye. We've got our t-shirts bagged up and ready to see what the outcome will be. Thanks for watching. Bye! Welcome back. Tonight is a very special occasion for over 1,400 BHS graduates and their families. We want to remind everyone that this is a formal event, and each graduate is the most important person in the arena to their families and friends. So we ask the audience please refrain from making noise or interfering in any way with the ability of others to hear students' names as they are called. We also ask that while you're taking pictures, please do not block the aisles or stand near the railings. Because this is also a night for celebration, there will be a time at the end of the ceremony for everyone to make all the noise you can make as the members of the class of 2023 throw their hats in the air and celebrate this special night together. With that said, back to some more AeroVision videos. For me, the biggest benefit of taking AP classes has probably been how it's impacted my time management skills. I've really used, uh, learned how to utilize my time, and I feel like that'll really help me as I enter college because I want to go to college and medical school and all of that. So I think the time management skills that I've gotten from taking AP is probably the biggest advantage. Managing AP classes whenever you're also in extracurriculars, like for example, I'm in Pride, it's a lot of work, but it's also a lot about knowing that it'll be easier at the end of it, I guess. You're not doing it for your moment there. You're not doing it for the time where you're in AP classes and in the height of your marching season. And you know, you're doing it for the next semester where you know that's gonna be easier. Or you're doing it for college where you know that you're not gonna have to take these classes now. It is a lot of work, and, but it's very manageable. And it's especially manageable if you have the right mindset going into it. I think AP classes have helped prepare me for college the best via the workload that they give me. And I know that in college, it's gonna be much more similar to the AP credits. And so going into college, if I'm doing AP classes, pride, combo, everything else that I'm doing extracurricular, 
and then I go into college and I'm doing just college classes, then I should be able to get through those without really, you know, much of a ton of difficulty like many people would going into college from high school. So the good thing about both concurrent and AP classes is that they both give you college credit. How I choose like whether I take a concurrent class or an AP class is more based on my interest. So like the concurrent classes are, are shorter, they're only one semester. For the classes that I'm more interested in, I want to major in, so like STEM, um, I'll take AP. So I'm hoping to go into the University of Oklahoma next fall. With any luck, I should be going in with almost all of my freshman year classes knocked out so I can start as essentially a sophomore in college. Last year, the two that stood out to me were Mrs. Wilson. She was my math teacher. She's definitely like one of the best teachers I've ever had. And Mrs. Lewis, who teaches AP Lang. And then this year, I really, my favorite classes are with Dr. Sobey and Mr. Bailey. So the first teacher that comes to mind whenever you ask that question is Dr. Stoby. I've been with him every year that I've been in high school. He did my pre-AP chemistry class and then my AP chemistry and now AP biology. And that's something that's really cool about these AP classes is because a lot of your AP teachers also will do pre-AP and they'll help lead you into it. And so you'll get to know them over several years. I think the two biggest things is that their classes are always really engaging. They don't just assign things, like they wanna hear feedback from their students. They ask their students questions and really value like the answers and then also they develop really good relationships with their students like I feel like if I have a question I'm, pre I'm pretty timid usually I don't really want to ask things but with them if I'm confused about something I know I can ask them I just feel comfortable asking them for any help I need in regards to academics We've been involved with Project Pathways now probably for five or six semesters. Um, so Gavin is our probably our tenth different intern that's worked with us over the past three and a half years. The benefits of Project Pathways and why I recommend it to everybody is just experience. And getting to have some experience in something you may be interested in is the best way to find out because you may have this idea of what you want to do in your mind but you don't know until you get there and you don't want to spend thousands of dollars on a degree at college and end up not liking it or you don't want to take a job in the workforce and end up not liking it. There's so many places that you can go and get plugged in, so many interests you can explore and it's just a good way to you know, discover what you want to do. What's unique about Gavin is he's already a high school athlete and what I've re come to recognize in working with high schoolers is those are, the, those are the students that are peers to our clients. So Pro Day Sports, we work with athletes as young as 10 years old, all the way up to uh, professional athletes who've actually had two Oklahoma City Thunder players train with us. And so we work on increasing their speed, their power, explosiveness, agility, and reaction. I wanted to get into Pro Day Sports and I wanted to look at an internship that would prepare me for something involved in exercise science, athletic training, physical therapy look for as much experience as I could before I got to college, before I got to you know, being out in the world. Every time an athlete comes in, it's a different workout. So he's got to set up the different uh, stations and, and exercises. So he'll watch videos that we've prepared to say, this is what we're working on today. We need that set up here in our gym. So he does that. But I've also had you know back and forth conversations with him as a high school athlete. What would draw you in to being a, a client here, a customer here? And so we've gone back and forth about business strategy and things like that on what would bring in his friends, for example, um, to work out here. First two hours in the morning, I get to work on homework, work on college applications, work on scholarship applications, you know, do what, take care of what I need to for the day at home. I go to school, go to practice, and then I come here for you know, a couple hours a day, get my internship hours in get my experience here and then for jungle squad if I need to go do something you know it's super flexible here like the program coordinators are really good at working with students to get those things done and it's just been a really solid way 
to like have a solid schedule and whatnot. Nice, Isabella. Titan, you got 13 seconds. Keep that pace up. Start making your way this way for me. Keep going. This way. We really have relied on the, the Broken Arrow community, um, students from Broken Arrow High School and middle schools to really keep us going. And so it's been really, really important for us. So we like to be a part of different events around town, um, you know, whether it's you know part of the chamber or any of those kinds of events, just to get our name out there and get people into our doors. Our goal is that uh, these high school students understand that uh, the fire service is a career option for them. We would love to have some of the, our, our own hometown students here come to the Broken Arrow Fire Department. So we're trying to expose them to everything they possibly could uh, see in the day, the life of a day of a firefighter so that they can make the career uh, choice that's right for them. When I was in high school at Broken Arrow, I did a lot of volunteering my time and really did a lot of serving the school and the community with uh, the Broken Arrow Jungle Squad and all the leadership classes. There's been a, quite a few things that's made me want to go to the fire service. My uncle's one of them. Doing a lot of uh, mission work at, through my church has made me want to go through it. And also just being around the community my whole life and going to visit the department at young ages. It, it's all kind of compiled into what brought me in here today. Um, if you guys are interested in joining the fire service, I would just say make sure you are ready to be outside of your comfort zone. Make sure that you're willing to learn and be coachable and also make sure that you can step up and be able to serve others. Today we are hosting our first Unified Champions 4-H Special Olympics show. I started showing pigs because I have a disability myself. I was diagnosed with cerebral palsy at the age of two. So showing pigs was kind of my sport when I started it and then I got into FFA when I moved into high school. And since then, I have wanted to make the livestock world a sport for the other kids with special needs and our special needs program. This has been a dream come true for me as a special uh, needs teacher. My kids need to learn that because they need to learn all the, the life skills that goes into taking care of animals and being around animals and exposing them to that. We did take a pig over earlier last semester so that they could um, just pet a pig or see what it actually looked like. Some of them had never seen a live pig before, so that was a good experience for them to kind of get to know the animals. The challenging part I felt for me was at the beginning I was a little concerned maybe they wouldn't understand, you know, you can um, touch the pig as hard as you need to to control him or whatever because pigs are a very tough animal and some of them took that and went with it and they did great. Some of them were a little bit lighter and we'd have to help them control but overall it went amazing. Our students were excited and happy and they were excited and happy and parents and grandparents and everyone that showed up were just so excited to have a day where they were included. And the students who are still gonna be here next year, they're even looking forward and thinking ahead of like, okay, this is what went right, this is what we wanna change a little bit, um, some things that we wanna integrate into the future. To me, it was like Christmas and my birthday and everything all rolled in together because it was like the best day ever, and the best field trip I have ever uh, been on in my 28 years of teaching. Um, just seeing the level of how much they got into and how much they loved it. I'm hoping that eventually that they will have a special needs category to be able to show goats and pigs or whatever they would like to do. So a lot of them said it was the best field trip they've ever been on, so that was a plus in my book.
Next up on tonight's graduation pre-show, we have a highlight from one of the annual biggest events of the year for student activities, gym night. Like I say, the guy doing the interviews was pretty good. After that, AeroVision sat down with students from Broken Arrow's early college high school dual credit degree program to find out more about their experience as the first ever four-year graduates from the program. Tonight, these students graduate not only with a degree from Broken Arrow High School, but also a two-year degree from TCC. But before we get back to the videos, we want to mention to everyone in attendance that has family and friends at home who can't make it, that this event is being live streamed by AeroVision on BA School's YouTube channel and Facebook, as well as www.aerovision.tv. Be sure and spread the word. We also encourage everyone here to subscribe to BA School's YouTube channel so you can get notifications whenever we go live or drop a new video. And now is a great time to make sure you are following all the amazing BA School social media channels so you don't miss out on all the great graduation content that will follow, including pictures, highlight videos, and more. What's up guys, I'm here with Jackson Gregory and Jacob Plowman, and you're on team which one? I'm on east side. I'm on west. Alright, so for Mr. Westside, how did it feel to win tonight? I mean, it felt really good to win. After like two months of practices and to see it all finish off right here, it feels good. Alright, so Mr. Team East, I know that you took a took a loss today, but do you have any deep, profound thoughts about it? I mean, we worked I mean, we worked as hard as we could for the past two months, and uh, you got to give it to them. They went out there and they were performed. I think they just had a little bit of the edge on us uh, tonight, and congratulations. All right, guys, I'm here with... Ava. Haley. Which team were you guys on? I was on Team West. I was on Team East. All right, so how does it feel to win gym night tonight? I honestly think it was a great experience. It's my senior year, and I'm just really glad to be a part of it. So you took a loss today, but how do you feel about moving on with that? Um, it's really exciting. It was my also my senior year, so it's just really fun. Both teams did great, and it was really fun. All right, so I'm here with a couple of the leadership teachers who I'll put on gym night tonight. Um, it's Mr. Thompson's first time. How do you feel about um, your first gym night experience? I thought it was awesome. The energy they brought, the amount of things they learned and retained along the way over this last like two months that we had practices. It's amazing to see these, these students do this and how much fun they were having. Very rewarding. All right, so you've done this a few times. What do you think about this, this gym night compared to past years? I feel like gym night just keeps evolving. Like it's such a cool event. Uh, it keeps getting better and better every year. This year, the biggest crowd we've ever had and also the closest competition we've ever had. So I feel like we're just going the right direction. Next year, our 10th year, it's gonna be huge. All right, so I'm here with the Tigettes and the winning choreographers for gym night tonight. What does it feel like being rewarded for all your hard work that's gone into preparing for tonight? It feels, like you said, like super rewarding, and um, it just created like a huge family that like I never even knew was at BAHS, and it was really nice to just get close to them and to like know them more, not even like as just a, a dancer at gym night, but just as a person at the high school. It felt awesome. I, it was just so nice getting close to everybody. And if you're thinking about doing gym night next year, really do it. It's so fun. Y'all were incredible. The whole West performance is great. I just want to say y'all did a good job. You deserve it. Here we go tonight. The drum roll, please. Your ninth annual champion of gym night is Team West. to be a part of this program because I heard about it through my dad who actually works in the dual credit department at Tulsa Community College um, and so he kind of had told me about it and I thought that it sounded super super cool because I you know I, I want to go to medical school and so I was like man getting two years ahead would be super super great because I'm gonna be in school for a long long time. I've been in Broken Arrow schools since kindergarten and it's a great school system to be in especially with this dual college enrollment opportunity that I was given. And the reason that I chose to do this program is because I would be able to get my two years of college out of my four year degree done. And I've already been accepted into OU's program for nursing because of this program. And I'm really thankful for that. Well, I saw just a little flyer for it 
and I heard the, that we could do the program, and I thought that you had to start your sophomore year, but in, in reality, you have to start your junior year, so I saw I can get my associate's degree. That's insane. Uh, I'm getting an accelerated master's in international relations and a minor in French, leaving Broken Arrow, but it's, Broken Arrow has taught me how to do these things, how to apply them for my future. I remember filling out the actual application, um, and I saw it was a two-year-long commitment, and I started to kind of back off, so I was like, well, maybe this isn't something I need to be doing. Um, and that's when my mom was like, no, like, I think this is the right idea for you. I chose this program because I wanted a good opportunity to get ahead in high school and uh, in college. And um, it's a great thing. It taught me time management skills. And um, it was a struggle at first. There was a big learning curve. But uh, once we got it down, um, it provided me with some great skills that I can use moving forward. Right now, I'm just looking forward to college. I'm, um, I'm thinking about going into psychology. Uh, to study at uh, U of A. I have been in this program for four years now. I started it the first year that freshmen were able to, and I really decided that this would be good for me because I had previously just moved to Broken Arrow in my eighth grade year, and I knew that I wanted to go to college, but I knew that this would help me get ahead and just keep me out of all the distractions in high school. Well, I wanted to come to ECHS because I wanted to earn my associate's degree before going off to a four-year university. I thought it was really beneficial to have that college experience before actual college. I've always been dreaming of college. I was very much like I was gonna go to college. That was my goal. So we thought this would be the best way to get me there. Best decision I've ever made. Like, I'm so happy I made that decision. I think it gives you the experience you need and like it helps prepare you for your college life if you want to go to college I think this is a good starter and this will definitely help you after this I'm gonna to go to the University of Tulsa to study finance and then eventually go into wealth management I chose to do the early college high school program because I wanted to get ahead um, especially for my degree college is expensive and this kind of takes a little bit, little bit of the edge off um, with a lot of those prices. I'm going to be going to Oregon State University and majoring in creative writing. I'm hoping to transfer to St. Louis University. I want to pursue my bachelor's there. They have a lot of good opportunities for me. I chose to come here just to further my education through high school, I guess. Um, it was more just like I have a lot of school ahead of me, so I might as well get some of my stuff out of the way as well as like learn how to go through college without having to like have my own independence like fully. So I'm going to attend Clarkson University in fall of 2023. The reason I chose to come here was uh, actually my mom. She was uh, the one who kind of influenced me to come here and it was definitely the right decision and I enjoyed every bit of it. The main reason was really just like getting the two years ahead of like getting the associate's degree, getting two years ahead of everything else. I like colleges I talked to, they were like, wow, that's huge, you know, so it looks good. Everybody, everybody thinks it looks good. I've done it all four years. It's been a pretty good decision. I've enjoyed it a lot. It mostly taught me like be more independent since I don't have like teachers and um, my parents like breathing down my neck about like grades and stuff. Since I'm graduating with my associate's degree, I'm planning on finishing my prereqs at TCC, which is only three classes, so I'll be finished by the next spring, and then I'll be applying for the sonography program at OU Tulsa, and hopefully if I get accepted, I'll start that next summer. I will be going to the University of Oklahoma and majoring in interior design. And I chose this program because I know I wanted to take some dual enrollment classes, and this opportunity arose for me, and I jumped for it. I was able to finish all my prerequisites for OU Nursing School, so I'm going to be starting there in the fall. I decided I wanted to pursue nursing probably beginning of this year. Um, I always wanted to go into medicine. The professors, like, are way different than teachers. I, that's what I really like. They're like real people, like, I can actually talk to. I, that was like my first shock. Like, when I, my professor was talking to me a certain way, I was like, I'm not in high school anymore. No like, I'm here. Go. Bring it in. We about to do what we did again. Nothing to prove, but you know what we've been against. We got a call to do it. You know we are showing it. You see the evidence. Yeah, you see the homie. I'm going from holy to holy. Going from glory to glory. I ain't just living. I'm telling a story. I had an episode better than more. I had a step and they couldn't ignore it. I had a shot and I hit it like Ori. I'm to the glory. I'm to the glory. Let's go. If I do it, I'ma do it for the glory. Yeah, ain't nobody gonna do it for me. I'ma kill it every day up in the morning.
I mean, after the state championship game, taking that tough loss was honestly pretty hard. I mean, I felt like we could have won it. We didn't play as well as we could have in the second half. Didn't really make shots, but you know, a couple weeks later, I was like, you know, we had, it was a really good season. It's the most fun season I've ever had. And then going to Oklahoma State is just a big bonus, you know. Uh, it's a dream playing in the Big 12, so I'm just super excited to get down there. Um, I say, given a bigger role this season, um, I felt like I had a lot more responsibility, so it made me work a lot harder, um, so I could produce the way I needed to um, and it was, it was nice I think the season went pretty well for me um, it got me you know scholarships and accolades that I needed for college yeah like the coaching staff has been great uh, I've probably known coach King the longest known him since like fourth or fifth grade he coached us all the way up until eighth grade and the rest of the coaching staff has been great I mean coach Wallace used to yell at me all the time for not shooting the ball so really thank him for that and nice uh, DJ is our point guard uh, great ball handler. I mean, he's, he's stepped into a big role this year. He had to be the starting point guard with four seniors. Uh, did it really well. I mean, he was, a, he was a leader for us as a sophomore. We don't hear a lot about that in uh, 6A for sure. Uh, Devon was good for at least one three every game in a big situation, it felt like. Uh, Diego's athlete's first step is just crazy quick and he'll beat you off the dribble and obviously just hit a three in your face if you're not looking. Yeah, I mean, DJ, Diego, De Devon, they were all great. I mean, DJ's obviously a really good passer. He can get to rim whenever he wants. Uh, Diego's a good shooter. He can knock down shots. And also, Devon, he's good for, like, a really good spark. One, like, one play, two plays in the game. He's just, he's great off the bench. i say my favorite game was probably the state semifinal game, getting there just because Owasso had given us our only loss up to that point. And so getting them back and sending them home for the season, that was Probably my favorite game. Yeah, I mean, we would look for the mismatches. I mean, we're so big every game, somebody would have a mismatch, whether it was DJ, me, Jason, Ethan, anybody. So we would just attack whoever had the mismatch. Christmas break trip to Orlando was a lot more fun than people probably thought because we got stuck in. So we took our flight out of Tulsa, went to Dallas, got stuck in Dallas, ended up being stuck there all day, and then we had to take a 16 hour bus ride to Orlando. And it sounds terrible, but you know, us being so close, we, we made it fun. I, br I brought some Uno cards, and a lot of us played Uno the whole day. And uh, I mean, it was just fun. It was another way to bond and get tighter over a bad situation, I guess. Um, reflecting on the state title game, I felt like, I still do feel like we were the better team. Um, the second half was shots didn't fall. Um, their kind of experience, I think, of being there the year before kind of kicked in, but. Just looking back at it, I mean, I'm grateful for the experience. I had a lot of fun. Um, it was a great season, and being able to say that, you know, I got there is not something many people can say. So I'm just grateful for the opportunity. We're back, and it's getting closer to 7 o'clock, which means it's almost time to celebrate the class of 2023. Also, a quick reminder, the 2023 BAHS yearbook is out, and if you haven't gotten yours yet, it's not too late. Students can go to room main 106 or www.jostens.com to purchase your yearbook before they're all gone. We hope you have enjoyed this look back on an amazing year for not only Broken Arrow High School class of 2023, but all of Broken Arrow Public Schools. Us seniors will take many memories with us as we go on the next stage of our lives, and as our superintendent, Mr. Chuck Perry, likes to say, the best is yet to come. And with that said, there are still more videos to come, including this next one that showcases the amazing spirit we have here at Broken Arrow High School. Once again, BAHS was named a top five finalist in Varsity Brands America's most spirited high school contest. The voting period has ended, but we won't find out until June 8th if we become the first ever two-time winner of the award and its $25,000 prize. Check out this spirited video of Tiger Pep.
So my role for Friday nights um, is really kind of gathering the troops, um, getting the students to participate uh, and be ready to help in our productions on Friday. So that includes running graphics, uh, running our replay system, uh, even running our, our TriCaster um, for our video board um, and running all the various cameras that we have. So the cameras in our platform, the camera in the press box and on the field. So last year, starting in my sophomore year, I began working uh, the football games for BA High School Aerovision program. And ever since I started it, I mean, every single Friday night, I was looking forward to getting an opportunity to serve and actually get that like on field and hands on experience. Typically on a Friday night, we have about 10 to 12 students, I want to say, and so they come from you know all of the different Aerovision classes that we have and I believe we have six different uh, classes that we have at the high school um, that myself and Ms. Dildine teach and so those students come from those classes and um, they get the opportunity to kind of you know put those skills and the knowledge that they've learned in class you know uh, to use those on a Friday night. Some of the roles that I played on Friday night for football games would include actually being on the field and doing sideline camera for the Aerovision live stream, also doing some main camera, some switching up inside of the press box, and a couple other positions as well. So I started at my church when I was in about eighth grade, and I started just on a lighting board, just running a few things to here and there. After a few years, I progressed into running the switcher, which was mostly just transitioning from figuring all that out as I progressed through it. And then when I was able to come into the Aerovision program, I brought that in just having that knowledge and being comfortable with running switchers and whatnot. As a senior, I wanted to be more involved with my school, so what better way than to join the Aerovision program? You know, you're really involved with every single event that our school holds. Being on the sidelines on Friday nights, it felt kind of surreal, and you really understand what goes on behind the scenes. I never really knew how much work and how much actually goes on and how hard it is to be behind the scenes, but it was so cool because, you know, my friends would be in the jungle, and it was like, I'm kind of down on the sidelines. I kind of felt cool a little bit. So Friday nights are a lot more eventful. A lot more things come at you out of nowhere, so you just have to be ready to um, have an open eye and just be ready to catch things as they come at you. I think one of the main challenges is just rolling with those punches, but always being ready and um, having an idea in the back of your head of what can I do if this was to happen. So our home games, you know, we, like I mentioned, we have about 10 to 12 students who are all working to uh, facilitate that in-house and live stream broadcast and so um, it's a bigger crew on a Friday night uh, for our home games. On our road games uh, we usually take a smaller crew, uh, about four or five students who help contribute to make sure that live stream uh, runs so they really get 
uh, a lot more uh, experience in setting up, you know, from start to finish, making sure, you know, that our cameras are set up right, uh, connecting cables for sound and um, for our TriCaster system, uh, setting up, you know, microphones for audio, so they really get uh, more of an opportunity to, you know, have that experience. With Friday nights, it definitely got me out of my comfort zone, and I think that's what Mr. Herman was wanting for me to do, was just open up and show my personality to everybody, and so after kind of experiencing all the chaos from Friday nights, he was just one day decided, let's just do a podcast, let's see how you do, and that's how I fell in love with podcasts, and now when I'm older, I do want to have my own podcast, so I'm definitely thankful for all the opportunities that Mr. Herman has provided me. This is my senior year in high school. After this year, I'd like to uh, go do an internship with my church down in Edmond with our broadcast team, and after that, maybe get a role on the broadcast team or go somewhere else from there. So getting the hands-on experience that I do get in the AeroVision program, it's, it's better equipping me for my future in journalism these next few years. So really just better overall equipping me for what I want to do in the future. AeroVision really, uh, you know, tries to excel and be the best, you know, in the field, regardless of it being a, a high school or a school district. And so um, I really appreciate the fact that, you know, I can take the skills that I've learned from college and really uh, apply those here. So not only am I getting an opportunity to teach, uh, the students what I know um, but I'm using those same skills um, to help you know facilitating us creating uh, what we create in AeroVision. Okay, it's pretty surreal. I was not expecting it. I'm so honored and so thankful. It's just amazing. You know, when you hear your name called, you don't know what to do. You're already sitting there nervous, hands are sweating, and it's just nice to know that everyone's cheering you up and we're all here. I mean, I think it just shows that all sports have great representatives and any sport can win it as long as you do your part in the community, do your part on campus, and it's just nice to know that I get to represent that. I definitely didn't think it was going to be me, so I was pretty surprised. When I heard my name, I didn't really think, like I didn't register there was my name at first, but um, it was really cool. <laughs> well, I think it'd be important to like represent my school well, you know, be a good student and a good friend to everybody, and it'll be cool to like tell my kids one day. <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm Ethan Scott. And I'm Terrace Booth. And we just had National Signing Day here on the campus of Broken Arrow High School. Got to interview a lot of people for their big days, me and her. So, yeah, let's go to the highlights. You got to make sure you guys just attack the process. This is a very exciting time for you guys. Your families are here. You have a great opportunity to go ahead and then continue to play the sports that you guys love. And so with that, I just want you guys, again, to know that I'm proud of you. Being a former Broken Arrow Tiger, wore that black and gold. 
Uh, I'm glad to be back uh, in Oklahoma. Congratulations to uh, our athletes here. I do want to take just a second to recognize all of our teachers and coaches here. If you are a teacher and coach, will you raise your hand and let's recognize them for pouring in these kids' lives for the uh, last couple of years. So Chance, what are you going to miss most about Broken Arrow? Probably just going to miss seeing my family every day and just being around the great community and having everyone support us and all that. Emma, what made you choose Hutchinson as your next step? So I went there on like a last minute visit and as soon as I got there, the coaches were so welcoming, the team was welcoming, the area was amazing. Um, it just felt right and it felt like my new family. So Avery, what are you looking forward to for this upcoming season and what are you going to miss most about Broken Arrow? I'm looking forward to having the chance to win a state championship. I'm going to miss all my friends and the team. Next, guys, I'm joined alongside Nate Jones, track and field signee for the University of Oklahoma. Nate, you were weighing the options a little bit between football and track. What made you go with Oklahoma University for track and field? I realized that I had a higher possibility of making it to the Olympics with some good coaching. I have good coaching here, and then it would just be better and better over the years. Now I'm here with Blake Priscilla, who just signed to NSU as a men's soccer player. Blake, tell me why you decided to sign with them. I really like the facilities and the players. I have a lot of friends that are going there right now, and they just told me how much they like it, so it stood out to me a lot. What about the Broken Arrow atmosphere? Are you going to miss the most when you head over to Stillwater? I'm really just going to miss my guys, my, my personal, my, my support team, my, my coaches, my teachers, my, my friends that go here. Who inspired you or pushed you the most in your soccer career? Um, I'd definitely say my mom because, I don't know, she was always there for me when I needed her. Um, she was always giving me tips, starting at a young age playing soccer. What are you guys going to miss most about Broken Arrow Soccer? I'll probably miss just the high school atmosphere, all my friends here, and just the good memories. Dietrich, how are you doing today? Doing good, how are you doing? Doing good. So Dietrich, Thanks. signing with North Texas, what are you most looking forward to as you start your collegiate career over there? I think, um, you know, just growing more into a man, uh, a better person every day. I've been working on it already, but when I get down there, I know, I know I'll be, I'll have everything I need and I'll just put all the pieces together. We just want to say congratulations to all the student athletes who signed today. I'm Cherish Booth. I'm Ethan Scott. And we hope you enjoyed the highlights. We'll be visiting 16 sites today and making sure that every second grader in the class will receive four books. Read to Succeed is a program that's only two years. So last year is our first year. This is our second year into that. And I'm um, just proud of what we've been able to do with that. Now you get to be Santa Claus in May. That's the best thing. You get to hand them four books and see the excitement that you're gonna enhance their education. These books are theirs. It's not something that's gonna stay in their classroom. These four books go home with them so that they can read, their parents can read with them, and to fine tune their reading skills to prepare them for third grade. Each teacher has done a deep dive into what will be specific for each child. So we have a um, learner reading level, a middle reading level, and a high reading level. Reuben, which one's Reuben? There you are, Reuben. Four books that's gonna help with the summer slump. During the summer, kids usually backslide on some of their reading, and we're going to give them each a book to help them with their reading skills over the summer. And during that, time they will be able to prepare for their third grade testing. Broken Arrow Public Schools Foundation supports kids in the community. Everything that the community pours into us we give right back into schools and helping them with so many programs to give them a better chance at their educational experience.
Welcome back. We hope you enjoyed this special BAHS Class of 2023 graduation pre-show. Be sure and follow at BA Schools and at BAHS Tigers on all social media platforms, including Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Scout, it's hard to believe that the Class of 2023 is about to walk across that stage, but the moment is almost here. Congrats to all our fellow seniors, but especially our AeroVision classmates. We're going to miss you all a ton. Well, it's almost time to start the 115th commencement ceremony for Broken Arrow High School and the Class of 2023. For Evan Rivera and especially all of the seniors in the AeroVision program, thanks for letting us tell your stories and keep you updated on all the news you need to know at BHS. Congrats to all the seniors and their friends and family tonight. From everyone here at AeroVision, and now enjoy the sounds of the pride of Broken Arrow as we count down to the start of tonight's ceremony at 7 p.m. Thanks for joining us. Ladies and gentlemen, may we have your attention, please? I'm Shay Rossi. And I'm Sarah Whaley with Fox 23 News. Before the start of this event, ASM management would like you to take a few moments to locate the exit nearest you. In the event of an emergency, we ask that you use that exit and follow the directions of the nearest BOK Center employee. In case of any medical needs, the Ascension St. John First Aid Station is located on the concourse outside of Section 114. Guest services attendants are also located outside of Section 117 and near the Grand Lobby entrance doors. BOK Center is a smoke-free environment and guests are not allowed to leave the building and re-enter in order to smoke. The use of cigarettes, e-cigarettes, vaporizers, and other similar products is prohibited inside this facility. For additional information about BOK Center and upcoming events, please visit BOKCenter.com. Thank you so much for your support of BOK Center. And now, enjoy this event.
refreshing.
Good evening and welcome to the beautiful BOK Center. I'm Crystal Barber, Broken Arrow High School principal. And on behalf of all of us here at Broken Arrow Public Schools, I'd like to welcome you to the 115th commencement ceremony for Broken Arrow High School. Our vision is empowering our diverse student body to be college, career, and life ready. Tonight is a very special occasion for our students and their families, one that we hope they will cherish for the rest of their lives. This is a formal event as we celebrate almost 1,400 graduates. Each of these graduates is the most important person in the arena to their families and friends. So we ask that the audience please refrain from making noise or interfering in any way with the ability of others to hear students' names as they are called. Because this is also a night for celebration, we have provided a time at the end of the ceremony for you to make all the noise you can make as the members of the class of 2023 throw their hats in the air and celebrate this special night together. Thank you for doing your best to help us celebrate our students with dignity and with class. Once again, welcome. It is a great night to be a Tiger and we are so glad you are here. Thank you and have a wonderful evening. Crystal Barber, principal at Broken Arrow High School. On behalf of the Board of Education and the faculty of Broken Arrow High School, I'd like to welcome you to the 115th annual Broken Arrow High School commencement ceremony. Please rise to welcome the graduates of the class of 2023.
please continue standing as our colors are presented by members of the Broken Arrow High School JROTC and remain standing for the playing of the national anthem. Please advance. Please advance and present the colors. Tonight we wish to honor those of you who have served in our country's armed forces, are currently serving, or have enlisted and will be serving soon. As the Broken Arrow High School Chamber Choir sings the medley of service anthems, please stand when you hear your service branches song. We salute you for your dedication and service.
this time, at this time we will observe a tradition that has been a part of commencements of our proud school. Mic check, there we go. Okay. At this time we will observe a tradition that has been a part of the commencements of our proud school since its early days. Bells play a large role in the life of most schools, signaling the beginning and the end of the school day. The ringing of a bell also notes an occasion of particular significance or importance. As we often do, therefore, we choose to reach into our past and resurrect those symbols and sounds which provided inspiration in the past, helped to make us who we are, and have assisted in bringing us to this evening. The old bell of historic Broken Air High School is with us tonight, and we call forth Chancellor Merrick and Mackenzie Ross of the class of 2023 to ring the bell of blessings and good fortune for our senior class. English poet John Don once asked, for whom doth the bell toll? Tonight, seniors, the answer is clear. It tolls for thee. And now for another old tradition, please rise for the singing of our school's alma mater. You may be seated afterwards. Tonight, I have the distinct pleasure of introducing and recognizing our guests joining me on the platform. Please stand as your name is called. I ask that the audience please hold, hold their applause until everyone has been introduced. Mr. Chuck Perry, Superintendent of Schools. Dr. Carla Dias, Deputy Superintendent. Mr. Larry Shackelford, Associate Superintendent. Mr. Steve Dunn, Assistant Superintendent. Mr. Steve Allen, Board of Education President. Mr. Jerry Denton, Denton, Board of Education Vice President. Mr. John Cockrell, Board of Education Deputy Clerk. Ms. Brandy Roulette, Board of Education Clerk. Ms. Debbie Taylor, Board of Education Member. Mr. Andy Rice, Broken Arrow Freshman Academy Principal. Ms. Shannon Turner, Broken Arrow Options Academy Principal. Ms. Christy Smith, Broken Arrow High School Associate Principal. Mr. James Tackett, Senior Class President. Mr. Richard Long, Student Council President. Mr. Tony Lee, Representative of the Class of Distinction. Ms. Stacy Replogle, Vanguard Academy Principal. Ms. Marcy White, Virtual Academy Principal. Ms. Julie Sunderland, Broken Arrow Early College High School Principal. Ms. Lisa Moore, Teacher of the Year. And Ms. John L. Wilson, Teacher of the Year. And joining us on the field this evening is Ms. Natalie Enough, Chief Financial Officer, Mr. Rusty Stecker, Chief Human Resources Officer, Ms. Rosalind Van Jackson, Chief Support Services Officer, Mr. Ashley Bowser, Chief Technology Officer, Ms. Sharon James, Executive Director of Secondary Education, and Ms. Daylene Thornton, Executive Director of Special Education. Please join me in giving these individuals a round of applause for their tireless support of Broken Arrow Public Schools. Thank you, you may be seated. Tonight I also have the honor of introducing our Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Chuck Perry. As a 1987 Broken Arrow graduate, along with his wife, Monica, they were the first class 
to attend the new high school for both their junior and senior years. Other than when he was obtaining his undergraduate degree from the University of Tulsa, he has lived his entire life in this wonderful city of Broken Arrow. He earned a Master's of Education degree from, from Northeastern State University at the BA campus, which has brought him to where he is today. Engaging students both in and out of the classroom has always been his passion. During his tenure as associate superintendent, he, along with his team, helped bring the JROTC program to Broken Arrow High School in 2015. This program has been a perfect fit because BA is a community who honors those who serve in the military. In addition, he has spearheaded the growth of the leadership program at the high school from approximately 50 to over 300 students today. This has made it one of the most popular electives on our campus. It's not unusual to have more than 1,000 students at an event because they feel connected to the school. Mr. Perry recognizes that these types of engagement opportunities help build school culture to an even greater level. Please welcome an educational mentor and a lifelong educator, Mr. Chuck Perry, to the podium. Mr. Perry. Thank you and good evening. I'm honored to stand before you today. Graduates, I want to share with you one brief piece of advice to live by as you leave your high school days behind. It's not how you start, but it's how you finish. One of the most dangerous mindsets in life for you to dwell on is comparing yourself to others. Each of you will take different paths in life when you leave here today. Some will enter the military, some will enter college or technical school, while others will directly enter the workforce. Do not look around and think I am behind in starting my life on the right foot. We all can be our own worst enemies by playing this game in our head. If you allow yourself to go there in your mind, you will soon be thinking, once you get a job, someone got a promotion and you didn't. And later, someone moved into management and I'm still stuck at the bottom. I want to encourage you, you be you. It's okay to fail. It's okay to make mistakes. Those shortcomings do not define us. We all learn things about ourselves through these challenges and will actually grow by refining our character through grit, resilience, and perseverance. Remain tough, believe in yourself, and stay the course. And always remember, the best is yet to come. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Perry. At this time, it is my pleasure to welcome Senior Class President James Tackett to the platform to address the senior class. Welcome, Mr. Tackett. Thank you, Ms. Barber, and good evening, class of 2023. My name is James Tackett, and I'm so honored to be here among you all. And I'm really honored just to be given this opportunity. I want to start off by thanking all of our amazing teachers. Who, if it weren't for them, we would not be here right now. I also want to thank all my family and friends who have been here, supportive of me all along my path. But we're not here for me. We're here for all of you guys. So now that we got that out of the way, I just want to say if any of y'all become famous one day, that you better remember me and let me get an autograph and picture maybe so I, I can say I knew you in high school. But all jokes aside, I hope many of you do become famous and achieve your dreams, but it won't be easy. We all look at these actors and famous singers and we, we want to be them someday, but we make up excuses like I'm not talented enough or I wasn't handed the right cards in life. I'll be the, I'll be the one to tell y'all that is a lie. Hard work will beat talent any day. If you put in the effort and become obsessed with the process of chasing your dream, you'll make it. Money and fame are useless though. Sure, we all, don't, we all wanna make money, become rich one day, but that doesn't get you happiness. What brings you joy are your lifelong friends that are seated all around this place. Fame only ruins those friends. Don't strive for those things, but instead strive to make memories that'll last way longer than money can. Move yourself from the crowd and figure out what you wanna be in the next coming years. If you separate yourself from the people who are lazy and just want to live life, you'll have a better mindset and will achieve your goals more efficiently. Make sure you have a positive impact on someone's life. You never know what your brother or sister is going through. 
Some people don't speak up. So speak up for them and let them know you love them. You never know how long they'll be around, so make it count. Too many people try to fight life on their own, and they can't. Be the change for them. One of my biggest fears is not completing the plans laid out in my life by my creator, or not reaching my full potential. Because one day, we're all going to become old, and we're all going to look back on our life and either say, wow, I really did do it all, and become something great. Or you'll say, wow, I really could have been something great, but I always quit at the last minute. I never kept going. I never put my full effort into my dream. Strive to never be in the comfort zone. To reach your full potential, you gotta be uncomfortable. Never let that lazy part of you take over because there is no growth without pain. And stay mentally tough through the adversity. I wanna share a story, a story of failure and triumph. You see, I know many of you have struggled with and maybe are still struggling with the challenges in your life. Maybe you were handed the wrong cards or maybe this, there's some addiction that has you in its grip. It feels like there's this empty void in your heart. You try to fill it with useless things. Many of you know that doesn't work. It all ends in sadness or disappointment. I would never want to see any of you guys die before you're 25. I want to see you all thrive and be happy. There is a solution to this void. I've discovered it, and if you're willing to accept it, that solution is Jesus Christ. I know many of you may be turned away by that name because you've gotten a bad idea or a bad rep from other people, but I'm here to tell you that, that people who have hurt you that believe in that name do not represent that name. <laughs> this man who came to us 2,000 years ago is still relevant today. If you're willing to accept it, I believe you should accept him into your heart and he will fill your heart and give you happiness like you've never ever experienced. I want to end this segment of my part by reading off one last quote by a very inspiring individual. As Pitbull once said, this is for everybody going through tough times. Believe me, been there, done that. But every day above ground is a great day. Remember that. Thank you class 2023. Have a great life. Thank you, James. Our next speaker this evening is Student Council President Richard Long, who has some thoughts to share with our graduating seniors. Welcome, Mr. Long. Good evening, friends, family, faculty, and a special good evening to the Broken Arrow High School graduating class of 2023. We made it! My name is Richard Long, and it is my distinct honor to address you all tonight as your student council president. To begin, I'd like to dedicate this speech to my countless teachers, mentors, and friends. Allow me to express gratitude to my parents, whose unwavering encouragement has been the cornerstone of my accomplishments. Our high school experience at BA has undoubtedly been an influential and memorable time. Each of us has worked tirelessly to get to this point. We face obstacles and challenges that have tested our grit and perseverance. We have grown in ways we never thought possible. We became more resilient, adaptable, and open-minded, ready to tackle any challenge. From our first day of elementary school to now our final days in high school, we have been presented with two choices, to evolve or to repeat. It is a choice we make every day, ultimately shaping our path in life. We've evolved in the classroom, on the field, and on the stage. I encourage you to continue to embrace new challenges, seek new opportunities, and learn from your mistakes. We must never become complacent. When faced with change, it's easy to stay within our comfort zone, but in doing so, we limit ourselves to a narrow range of experiences and opportunities. Each of us has taken risk at BA, whether turning in assignments at 11.59 or jumping into the sweaty mosh pits at prom, we found ourselves living on the edge. In our discomfort, we learn about ourselves and what drives us. We are determined and dedicated individuals, never afraid to put in the hard work and effort required to succeed. By pulling all-nighters to study for an exam or scrolling through social media to momentarily escape the pressures of studying, we find creative ways to stay motivated and on track. 
no matter what, through academics, performances, and spirit, we bleed black and gold. <laughs> Tigers are always tenacious. Act with integrity, show gratitude, pursue high expectations, and respect others. We, the class of 2023, never fail to embody the spirit of a tiger. Vietnamese philosopher Vu Vang Lam once said, do not tread about the world pretending to be someone else, for you are dishonoring your true self. The message is simple but profound. The identity you created since the first day of high school is not permanent. Many of us will look back and question our personality, why we change water bottles every year, and why we pursued the first crush and the second crush. Be the creator of your own life. Do something different. Make a power move. You deserve a life on your terms, a life worth Instagramming, and in our middle age years, Facebooking. <laughs> Fellow graduates, I want you to remember that you are the author of your story. Take control of this next exciting chapter. Turn your adventure into a, a story you never fall asleep reading. Be the main character who's always curious and embraces life with happiness and gratitude. Thank you, BA, for believing in me and believing in yourselves. May I wish you all the best of luck in your future endeavors. I have confidence you'll do extraordinary things. And as always, go BA! Thank you very much. Thank you, Richard. Academics are the central reason that all schools exist, and tonight we wish to honor our academic program. At this time, we would like to recognize, recognize all those who work with our students at Broken Arrow High School. We recognize at this level that we've had the opportunity to reap the fruit of the collective efforts that have been given since the very beginning of our students' educational careers. First, I'd like to ask that our high school department leads and the members of our Broken Arrow High School faculty and staff stand and remain standing. And next, I'll ask that all Broken Arrow Public Schools faculty and staff stand to include all pre-K through 12 educators. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for your diligence and dedication to the class of 2023. You can be seated at this time. Our class of distinction represents those students whose grade point averages place them in the top 3% of the senior class. Each year, a representative from that group addresses our graduates at commencement. Please join me then in welcoming to the platform Tony Lee, representing the 2023 class of distinction. Well, I'm glad I didn't faint yet. And I made sure to separate church and state with my speech. <clears throat> and now for my obligatory thank yous. I'd like to thank my middle school drama teacher, Natalie Morgan. I'd like to thank my history teacher, Gina Lepp. And I'd like to thank my English teacher, Patricia Torres. But most importantly, I'd like to celebrate a special teacher today. I'd like to recognize Ms. Jill Taylor, who's been here for 10 years and has served us as the AP liaison. She has worked hard to positively affect everyone who's gone through her doors. And unfortunately, she'll be leaving us this year. Cheer up, guys. I'm the last speech for the spe student speakers. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed faculty members, proud parents, and fellow graduates, 
In this moment of celebration, I want to share a personal journey. As a low-income, first-generation immigrant and first-generation high school graduate, I understand the unique challenges and obstacles that many of you may face. But let me assure you, my fellow graduates, that our past does not define our futures. It ignites the fire within us to overcome, achieve, and to inspire others to rise up and to reach for greatness. As we celebrate our graduation today, I stand before you today to offer my perspective on such a significant occasion. While it is important to celebrate our achievements, it is equally vital to recognize the realities that lie ahead. We have spent years pursuing knowledge and growth within the confines of the broken arrow's walls. We've acquired a wealth of abilities, developed our analytical capabilities, and broadened our intellectual horizons. Yet, we must acknowledge that the challenges we face within this controlled environment will differ significantly from those awaiting us in the real world. As we step out into the land throat of cutthroat professionalism and complex personal life, we must be prepared for the inevitable hurdles and challenges that await us. The road to success is rarely linear and demands work, resilience, and adaptability. It is crucial to recognize that our diplomas and degrees do not guarantee instant success. The real world operates on its own set of rules, rules that often reward effort and perseverance over mere academic achievements. The value we bring to the table is not based on the letters after our names, but our ability to apply knowledge, collaborate, learn, and develop. In this journey, we must embrace lifelong learning as a cornerstone of our personal and professional growth. The knowledge we have acquired studying at Broken Arrow High School is merely a foundation due to the rapidly evolving world around us. To remain relevant and informed, we must unlearn outdated concepts and, emerge, and embrace emerging technologies and trends. Furthermore, the significance of building meaningful relationships should not be understated. In times of uncertainty, the connections we make, both personal and professional, can open doors, provide mentorship opportunities, and offer support. Embrace the power of human connections and nurture your network for it will be an invaluable asset as you navigate the complexities of the real world. While the pursuit of our ambitions and personal success is essential, let us not lose sight of the bigger picture. As the world faces numerous challenges, from climate change and social injustice to economic inequality and political division, we as individuals must leverage our skills, knowledge, and resources to make a positive impact. Seek opportunities to contribute to your communities, engage in social responsibility initiatives, and address pressing global issues. Realize that, sm realize that small actions can create ripples of change. These ripples can eventually form together to become waves. As we embark on our respective journeys, remember that success is not measured solely by financial wealth or professional accolades. Rather, it is a holistic concept that encompasses personal fulfillment, meaningful relationships, and the differences that we make in the lives of others. Strive for a balanced life that encompasses not just professional achievements, but also personal well-being and the pursuit of happiness. As we celebrate this significant milestone, let us approach our future with unwavering determination while keeping a sense of pragmatic realism. Let us embrace lifelong learning, let us build strong networks, and let us make a difference in the lives of the people around us, and later, the world. Remember that success is multifaceted and that true fulfillment lies in a balanced life and making a difference. Congratulations, class of 2023. I wish us all hope in navigating the complexities of adulthood and paving our own distinct paths towards creating a better future. Thank you, Tony. Mr. Perry, members of the Board of Education, faculty, graduates, and honored guests, it is my great privilege to stand before you tonight and add my congratulations to those which you've already received. You've heard from some amazing student speakers, and the truth of the matter is that James, Richard, and Tony have said everything that needs to be said. Their speeches emphasize that one's background does not define them, that we should work toward overcoming challenges and inspiring others, they acknowledge the transition from the school environment to the complexities of the real world, emphasizing the importance of hard work, resilience, and adaptability. Lifelong learning, building meaningful relationships, and making a positive impact in the world were some of the themes of their speeches. 
They highlighted the significance of personal fulfillment, balanced life, and pursuing passions. Finally, the speeches encouraged you, graduates, to take hold of your own lives and to embrace curiosity, adventure, and gratitude. I believe everyone in this room tonight can hear these words of wisdom and learn from them. Class of 2023, it has been my great honor to serve as your principal the last three years. I am deeply proud, deeply proud of each of you and can't wait to see all of the amazing things that you're going to do in this world. You are a phenomenal, phenomenal group of students and there simply aren't enough words to express, express my gratitude for who you are and what you stand for. And now to the part of the program on which I know you've all been waiting. Mr. Perry, members of the Board of Education, distinguished guests, faculty, family, and friends. As Broken Arrow High School principal, it is my honor to present to you the graduating class of 2023. On behalf of the faculty and staff, I hereby certify that each senior before you this evening has completed the requirements established for a high school diploma by the State of Oklahoma and the Broken Arrow Board of Education. We will at this time begin the presentation to our seniors with members of the high school faculty announcing names and Mr. Perry, members of the Board of Education and district officials presenting to our graduates. We ask that members of the audience help us with our ceremony tonight by observing proper decorum during this time. We ask also that items or sounds which, which could be distracting be held until the end of the commencement ceremony. This will ensure that all students' names are heard as they cross the stage. Junior marshals, at this time, if you will move into place. Our first Graduates this evening are our three student speakers. James Tackett David Jr. Richard Fack Lung. Tony Lee. Now we, now we will. Dylan Monk. Now we will proceed. Now we will proceed with announcing additional graduates of the class of 2023. Doris Torres. <laughs> Keaton Ross. Alexis Martin. Mitchell Geiger. Destiny Mitchell. Matthew Elizondo. Yaman Al Sharif, Logan Goines, Matthew Jones, Andrew Hengram, Griffin Frederick, Elijah Ring, Jacob Ross, Braden Aldridge, Ryan Casey. Okay, so we went a little bit out of order and that's okay. So here's what I was gonna say about our students enlisting in the military. If you're enlisting in the military, stand up. <laughs> Tonight we have nine graduates who will enter the military after graduation. We wanna thank you for your service and dedication this evening.
Colby Kimberlin. Matthew Becker. Jesus Gonzalez. McKaylin Johnson. Paul Pham. Christopher James. Shada Garcia. Jonah Jurgi. Nathaniel Raim. Katie McConnell. Justin Hudson. Miss Julie Sunderland, a Broken Arrow High School graduate herself, has been part of Broken Arrow Public Schools for 16 years and serves as the principal of Broken Arrow's Early College High School. Students, if you are part of Early College High School, make your way to the podium. Please welcome to the podium Miss Julie Sunderland to present the diplomas to the TCC cohort of 2023. Miss Sunderland. Several years ago, under district leadership, Broken Arrow Public Schools began a partnership program with Tulsa Community College and Northeastern State University called the Dual Credit to College Degree Program. The students participating in this rigorous program of study are only the fourth class of Broken Arrow graduates to simultaneously earn their high school diplomas while completing work on their two-year college associate's degree. This year, we have 39 students who are receiving not only their high school diplomas, but also their associate's degree from Tulsa Community College. <laughs> Early College High School students also have the opportunity to complete the High School Plus One program. High School Plus One students have completed at least one year of college credit while earning their high school diploma. This year, we have 11 High School Plus One students. Tonight, we celebrate this tremendous achievement with them and wish them continued success as they move forward in the future. These students are... Jenna Drake. <laughs> Olivia Willey. <laughs> Shelby Gilliam. <laughs> Kaylee Sticka. <laughs> Keegan Spurlock. <laughs> Cadence Powell. Brooke Shenneman. Victoria Harper. Abigail Hardwick. Cameron Winninger. Simon DeLeon. Skylar Geck. Alicia Lore. Kaylee Miller. Madeline Hardwick. Lincoln Smith. Zach Arthur. William Jonkowski. Ethan Ellison. Cassandra Claus. <laughs> Alina Silva. Andrew Lope. <laughs> Ty Lackings. <laughs> Emily Fisher. Additionally, this evening, we have five students from Broken Arrow Public Schools who are candidates for the advanced.
We have five students from Broken Arrow Public Schools who are candidates for the Advanced Placement Capstone Diploma. This diploma program is based on students taking the AP seminar and AP research courses where they submit an original academic research paper and defend their research findings. Additionally, students must earn a score of three or higher on four additional AP exams. They will be awarded this unique diploma this summer upon receiving the required scores from this year's AP results. We celebrate this outstanding accomplishment tonight. After this portion, we will immediately proceed with the announcing of the remainder of the class of 2023 the AP Capstone candidates are Amelia Atkin, <laughs> Chloe Angel, Reagan Fowler, <laughs> Brianna Gagowski, Daphne Shell, Grace Blavogic. Emily DeRozier, Jalen Brown, Cole Hennis, Evan Bennett, Spencer O'Brien, Lawson Carter. Adam Sparger. <laughs> Catherine Pierce. Lola Hickey. Catherine Phelps. Salvador Velasquez. Emma Finley. On tram. Kaden Walker, Kinsey Fernandez, Emily Featheringill, Armando Lopez, Tessa Holder, Gabriela Montes, Max Hugh, Jocelyn Ba Perez, Andrew Vo. Nicole Martinez, Jacqueline Siriaco, Chance Merrick, Abigail McKinsey. Patterson, Mackenzie Ross, Hunter White Gibson, Hong Nguyen, Dorian Glanz, Abu Nassim. Kevin Parsons, Addison Mills, Jamie Purnell Wind, Drew Lamb, Evelina Luznik, Elizabeth Walker, Elizabeth Dimitrva Marchuk, Brianna Garrison. Bodadon Nowitzki, Kennedy Little, Andrew Lawless, Madison Martin, Ariana Lewis, Danny Davis, Drew Perry, Hadley McElvain, Carrington Pate, Gracie Cooper, Sarah Marlowe, Conley Payne, Devin Lomax, Courtney Callahan, Avery Malam, Reagan Caldwell, Grace Newell, Bailey Scout Haggard, Jovia Namuli, Rayleigh Beck, Jaden Noah, Ainsley Colvin, Juliana Ortega, Anna Brewer, Alexander Mercatoris, 
Caleb Bendez. Naha McBroom. Briar Bernard. Brooklyn Lance. Morgan Barden. Will Osborne. Catherine Chandley. Ross Martin. Caden Cox. Cade Matthews Boudreau. Julian Ashcraft. Austin Newell. Jacob Bowers. Joshua McMillan. Austin Brewster. Jameson Mejia. Denton Biggs. Eric Nguyen. Logan Braddock. Camila Perez. Connor Bull. Hashley Monreal Gomez. Gavin Boudreau. Kiara Lewis. Christopher Barton. Ayana Perez. Cole Baldwin. DQ Matthews. Morgan Barnes. Lexiana Portillo. Michaela Billings. Christopher Okodo. Hope Allen. Austin Orman. Gavin Barker. Raquel McKnight. Ivory Carmona. Yasmin Macklin. Zion Rhymes Alexander. Natalie Morgan. Cadence Camargo. Cami Murray. Kylie Camargo. Dylan Lissandro. Jacob Parks. Abigail Cates. Seth Payne. Chachilla Bauta. Michael Lowry. Hannah Arthur. Jenica Mayer. Kiara Borrero. Valeria Padilla. Kylie Borrero. Gabriela Martinez Alvarado. Caitlin Clute. Jocelyn Orozco. Annabella Alvarez. Amaya Patino. Darius Boykins. Mia Marin. Joshua Bradley. Kevin Martinez. David Culp. Alan Martinez. Kyra Coulter. Luke McGowan. Presley Cole. Ramiro Mota. Dason Cook. Roy Lerma Hernandez. Christopher Barker. Aaron Edwin Lopez. Christian Clark. Jonathan Medina. Grayson Childers. Julian Leos Gutierrez. Georgia Cleghorn. Riley Mumford. Heidi Clough. Chloe Moore. JC Cook. Brandon Powers. <laughs> Julia Bibb. Kian Nabatian. Ryan Carruth. 
Sean Nichols. Elliot Alexander. Zachary Perrett. Avery Cook. Thomas Martin. Haley Alexander. Kellen Marshall. Allison Benzo. Andrew Mounts. Zoe Bryan. Joshua Peer. Jasmine Cox. Isaac Perales. Alicia Alexander. Jeremy Melton. Paulina Angel Martinez. Donna Moran. Dahlia Coronado. Victoria Miller. Traylon Burnett. Jaquan Moment. DeAndre Clay. Nicholas Long. Anthony Baker. Jessalyn Overall. Draven Cagle. Gabriella Parker. Lizbeth Chavez. Bianca Orzoria. Yesenia Chavez. Dushel Porras. Leah Chambers. Brian Olmos. Elena Conaway. Joseph Nguyen. Madison Brinkley. Hugo Martinez. Ashlyn Bedford. Roberto Lopez. Kennedy Clark. Jacob Phillips. Jordan Clark. Connor Peirano Taylor. Connor Clark. Luis Martinez. Kanan Cortez. Amanda Morillo. Christian Cordoba. <laughs> Tiffany Mendoza. Jaden Badillo. Jaron Lewis. Avery Barlow. Monica Olivares. Carly Joe Bolin. Mariana Urapeza. Scarlett Brown. Addison Normanden. Keenan Curtis. Molly Morris. Braden Brenner. Alexandra Ortega. Gracie Cates. Clayton Ming. Hannah Cunningham. Karina Munoz. Kylie Cantrell. Frankie Monk. Chloe Brown. Dietrich Moore. Cameron Atkinson. Jay Cortland Mans. Janisha Caldwell. Kyron McBee. Briley Chapman. Jaden Perry. Elena Arias. Zachary Otthouse. Caitlin McKinney. Dalia Barnett. John Moores. Cameron Krause. Bryson Owens. Michaela Crawley. Dalton Morrow. Saul Baron. Alexander Lee. Anna Connor. Blake Pritchett. Jamie Benton. Brendan Landry. Connor Allen. 
Raphael Lolu. Abigail Charlesworth. Phoenix Ledoux. Matthew Carter. Hannah Lamb. Jake Newcomb. Sydney Bennett. Cadence Penny. Justin Carter. Gavin Lehman. Christopher Aguilar. Garrett Lynch. Dakota Coates. Jordan Newton. Lacey Cabrera Sosa. Chance Lee. Anna Buzzard. Michaela Milliken. Mara Barrios. Macy Morris. Alasius Boaz. Kai McCombs. Lillian Clark. McKenna McWhorter. Kira Ames. Brett Peterson. Avery Brown. Harold Medina. Arian Nicole Andrews. Leah McCants. Elise Coder. Ashton Ladd. Jonathan Blair. Kendall Prehoda. Daniel Arnold. Jared Naranjo. Stephanie Collin. Casey Lockman. Apshora Ahmed. Emma McDonald. Lindsay Cruz. Nehemiah Lapsley. Gabrielle Chassi. Truva Bryce Lee. Bella Baber. Gracie Lane. David Beck. Grace Pippet. Braden Bridwell. Benjamin Martin. Michael Anderson. Noah Meacham. Gavin Austin. Brian Peterson. Michael Cook. Jack Lemon. Jacob Brammer. Ryder Murphy. Christian Arenas. Owen Lane. Cooper Ayers. Liam Lowe. Benjamin Allen. Jacob Plowman. William Booker. Emma Leet. Zachary Baker. Georgia Pasha. Connor Christensen. Ivana Panayatova. Zachary Butler. Madeline Mann. Jacob Baker. Avery McKnight. Blake Acosta. Ashlyn Lang. Dakota Akins. Morgan Lancaster. Britton Ashley. Brennan Layton. Riley Alfaro. David Martinez. Jacob Arthur. Helen Wynn. Reed Adams. 
Esther Patton. Haley Brown. Tamara Lulu. Adam Bales. Annalise Moyes. Marcus Costa. Mark Nicolini. Emily Bitsui. Wyatt Nance. Emily Alexander. Elijah Ngoyi. Mandolin Addison. Luke Nance. Yasmin Campbell. Jennifer Martinez Hernandez. Shyla Cagle. Sheehan Madison. Lily Critchfield. Lucy Presson. Aubrey Clemens. Abby Claire McDerris. Valentine Brown, Anna McDerris, Sammy Crawford, Brooke Pruitt, Kaylin Buchanan, Peyton Mosman, Alondra Bussy Jones, Lexi Lane, Zoe Boyd. Gavin McClung. Perry Burt. Hannock Matthew. Carson Connor. Tyler Moody. Owen Catlett. Persephone Montanelli. Holden Cornwell. Alexis Lytle. Gabriel Beautifish. Abigail Martin. Tyler Budrico. Hannah McDowell. Bryston Brogdon. Justin Lunk. Blake Bowman. Aiden Lawson. Drake Anderson. Austin Light. Carson Bell. Ramil Matitas Jr. Clayton Alford. Alicia Mallory. Soraya Adibi. Alyssa Mallory. Maggie Kaywood. Brooke Matthews. George Shaw. Brody Moore. Sebastian Chavez. Landon Massey. Isaiah Coleman. Blake Nally. Grayson Abercrombie. Christian Odin. Brennan Ben. Stephen Pendleton. Alston Brown. Haiti Martinez. Royce Carter. Brayley Phillips. Mena Beniam. Grace Murray. Jacob Carr. Evan McFarling. Brayden Clear. Sophia Pinsart. Andrew Burke. Michael Oswald. Ellie Boyle. Michael Pierce. Emily Chase. Skyler Lee. Emma Bulin. Andrew Medlock. 
Madison Blish. Jaden Michaels. Bryce Cope. Cademan Quinton. <laughs> Valerie Cosi. Jack Proctor. Haley Cloudus. Harun Musa. Emma Cooper. Connor Quick. Logan Cook. Cassidy McFadden. Kevin Castro. Ali Newert. Christian Carlson. Haley McAuliffe. Edwin Aguilar del Bosque. Michael Medina. Casey Brown. Jonathan Perez Benaventi. Josie Clevinger. David Miranda. Leah Chini. Josue Moreno. Michaela Converse. Keelan O'Banion. Reagan Edelman. Valerie A. Padilla. Justice Bryant. Ashley Olivas. Anna Carver. Kayla Mosier. Hayden Calhoun. Rayleigh Personette. Ka Carson Cortese. Harley Owens. Braden Beach. Ashlyn Meek. Kayla Buffington. Kennedy Ortolf. Dawson Buss. Addison Palmer. Caleb Collins. Carmen Pogue. Justin Adair. Brianna Lewis. Brianna Martin. Gavin Kennard. Megan Martin. Camden Cantwell. Majesty Perez. Joe Cooper. Aaliyah Osterdijk. Christian Gulo. Madeline Messenger. Travis Afner. Bailey Melton. Yes. Amy Chang. Reagan Overby. Bethany Grillot. Jocelyn Pruitt. Chloe Goins. Cameron McElroy. Ainsley Hopkins. Taylor Moser. Karen John. Emily McCloud. Natalia James. Myla Morrison. Alexa Jackson. Ainsley Majors. Emma Jarrell. Jocelyn McGuire. Angela Delgado. Draven Monroe. Miriam Dixon. Gavin Neeson. Duncan Hibbs. Zoe Odom. Michael Hovland. 
Nalia Pennen. Candice Hahn. Alexander Pohlmeyer. Matthew Golden. Gavin Parrish. Emma Goodman. Gabriel Montoya. Tanner Jenkins. Landon Phillips. Zoe Fawcett. Trinity McCurry. Toby Jager. Kirsten Pack. Lillian Henry. Adrian Martinez. Angie Besaho. David Morgan. Yales Inventa, Dimitria Ikerslavgon. Ty Martin. Samuel Key. Christopher Neely. Kanan Kendall. Shaylin Watts. Kaden Kern. Hannah Zimmerman. Caleb Jimenez. Cicely Wadsworth. Trinity Fields. Eleanor York. Elena Garcia. Mackenzie Zarn. Haley Earnhardt. Noah Tyndall. Emma Kelly. Luis Zerpa Jimenez. Ethan Jones. Brady Rustin. Jackson Kelly. Brandon Schreier. Lucas Framel. Ethan Scott. Ainsley De Marie Dimon. Colin Young. Stephanie Juarez. Corey Young. Audrey Jewett. Nathan Wood. Matthew Johnson. Olivia Stoner. Walker Destiny. Horton. Destiny Stanfill. Elijah Dudzik. Max Schultz. Kevin Emmanuel. Jean-Luc Taylor. Diego Flores. Jacob Vargas. Maddox Dodge. Christian Swab. Alex Ham. Grace Sarton. Dalton Hill. Ethan Varner. Lane Helmer. Jamie Scott. Connor Estep. Jaden Rutherford. Christian Gages. Madison Drake. Rubis Rodriguez. Josiah Jackson. Kaylee Swafford. Kyle Ely. Rachel Rowan Shields. Brennan Jones. Marissa Reed. April Kaya. Vivian Wilson. Bradley Dalton. 
Anastasia Simmons. Sir Malcolm Cedric Johnson. Matthew Seaman. Nathaniel Jones. Morgan Sabatula. Olivia DeHue. Isabella Soratelio. Thailand Johnson. Morgan Vargas. Tania Howard. Valia Torres. Jalen Franklin. Connor Westcott. La Jaden Dunbar. Tyler Sands. Jariah Houston. Allison Fearman. Jada Marie Harvey. Ryan Sanders. Antonio Jones, Jordan Scott, Gavin Jarvis, Austin Tran, Kira Ford, Graydon Thibodeau, Peyton Henderson, Maddox Wise, Bryce Jones, Christopher Rush. Sebesso Kakubo. Michaela Wofford. Tramel Jones. Tria Tao. Sarah Doe. Audrey Shopshire. Inji Kim. Mercy Solomon. Nicole Duran. Raba Sohail. Brittany Guzman. Adashika Takahashi. <laughs> Janie Ellis. Austin Shaw. Madison Duvarni, Guadalupe Saldivar, Sue Ellen King, Elena Schofler, Haley King, Fabiana Zausik, Taylor Grayson, Jayla Talley. Sophia Fernate, <laughs> Kylie Tucker, <laughs> Reagan Hinkle, <laughs> Jalen Rickerson, <laughs> Emily Hargrove, <laughs> Kirsten Tony, Angela Kellogg. Monica Ruiz Perez, Bobby Fowler, Eduardo Rosas, Reagan Kessler, Jarrett Smith, Valerie Gonzalez, Michaela Scher. Faith Amy Harness. Kayliana Rayburn. Faith Feathers. True West. Kiara Galvez. Bellamy Stevenson. Kenya Galvez, Hannah Summers, Jocelyn Garcia, Yalitza Saldivar, 
Calvin Jones. Vanessa Sanchez. Mason Freeman. Jocelyn Soto. Aubrey Dobbs. Myra Sanchez. Rama Katani. Megan Suter. Chloe Williams. Alani Gordon. Riley Yates. Ashlyn Jones. Brooklyn Woosley. Emily Johnson. Colton Ryan. Yolando Donato. Bradley Warwick. Steven Delamora. JC Wheeler. Samuel Delgado. Ashton Reyes. I don't know. Gavin Forkham. Ella Sperry. Andy Huynh. Ian Rhodes. Natalie Gonzalez. Chase Walker. Lacey Ayat. Dominic Binware. Kylie Hulick. Zachary Siebert. Riley Lynn Ellis. Gabriel Uphold. Grace Eager. Dylan Radford. Brett Dewin. Ethan Tidwell. Christopher Daly. Isabel Zunin. Callan Gerard. Mackenzie Webb. Gabriella Gill. Donna Thomas. Carlos Ferreras. Jorge Rosas Pena. G. Dyer. Lydia Stevens. Andrew Goldswick. Alex Rogo. Marcus Diemla. Anthony Walker. Isaiah Flores. Ethan Michael Walker. Lucas Getz. Hannah Wing. Dominic Grizzle. Justice Sutton. Logan John. Blake Sham. Alex Jetty. Samuel Rinda. Nathan Cooney. Cameron Wood. Austin Huff. Sean Stevens. Kaylee Denton. Logan Roberts. Aaron Henderson. Tyler Tomlin. Cameron Johnson. Paige Horton. Bethany Johnson. Jaden Turner.
Ashlyn Warlick. Imani James. Elise Dunser. Madeline Glasgow. Kai McCombs. Mason Hopkins. Hannah Sawson. Ian Gonzalez. Rachel Vandebogart. Caleb Gilliland. Maya Ramirez Armandez. Jackson Gray. Mariana Salas. Winter Hahn. Julia Wire. Brayley Heath. Ariana Rainey. Mazzy Catcher. Elvira Salvador. Jordan Gibson. Riley Sorgal. Yesenia Delion. Mia Rhodes. Anna Beatrice de Oliveira Sosa. Demarie Templeton. Beatrice de Giacomo. Eric Vasquez Mejia. Demetrio Lejidro. Corbin Wagner. Joshua Farquhar. Sydney Sanders. Grant Hinkle. Anna Woodstock. Brandon Hun. Elizabeth Smith. Carson Kime. Ashley Sigala. Camden Carl Skint. Madison Tulsa. Sam Keller. Kaden Sunaguli. Hannah Grimes. <laughs> Catherine Seals. Giselle Hua. Jaden Toro. Celeste Fleming. Eric Wilson. Maria Antonella Gill. Sebastian Roberts. Blake Frisillo. Nicholas Sumner. Gage Davidson. Ariana Rogers. Carson Hewitt. Paige Thompson. Allison Jackson. Fabio Spino. Bailey Johns. Kenley Sigmund. Daly Morgan Hill. William Reich. Erica Gray. Alexis Ramos Chuck. Alan Orugan Martinez. Jairo Troches Cardenas. Alondra Alexandra Holguin. Juan Soto. Naomi Inkman. Marissa Torres Salmaron. Haley Baker. Kevin Yanez. Mary Gregory. Miguel Valdez. 
Paula Acosta. Hector Valley. Abigail Dinman. Jordan Yeager. Alexis Day. Tyler Simpson. Maria Gutierrez. Samu Sweezer. Ruth Armstrong. Kenan Walker. Nevea Barr. Asher Weirs. Chloe Andazola. Preston Richardson. Hunter Priest. Elijah Woodard. Casey Hazelton. Tyron Williams. Felicity Armagost. Leo Rule. Hank Horton. Jackson Reed. Robert Kerr. Mason Walker Spear. Ashton Heineman. Ava Taylor. Alexander Harris. Luke Wells. Aiden Henderson. Marco Ramirez. Jackson Gregory. Coda Willie. Ryan Koontz. Brooklyn Whirl. Taylor Griffin. Emma Wells. Eli Garrison. Madison Williams. Kevin Elizondo. Eric Viola. Connor Griffin. Jackson Turner. James Horrell. Megan Trim. Maxwell Fitzgerald. Carmen Smith. Cooper Hornback. Riley Vote. Mason James. Stryker Smith. Landon Fouché. Rohail Wasi. Kaylee Heightgrass. Riley Simpson. Alexis Holland. Kate Schatz. Courtney Francisco. Isabella Steele. Essence Davis. Jade Tabares. Jacqueline Green. Hayden Townsend. Caroline Fletcher. Jose De Jesus Ramirez. Elena Friedrichs. Shauna Rankin. Riley Cooter. Jacob Roberson. Briley Ferguson. Daniel Rice. Avery Craig. Evan Rivera. 
Maya Holden. Bianca Reeder. Jocelyn Kitchen. Candace Schultz. Katie Hale. Kaylee Trahan. Alex Frederick. Nicole Trujillo. Haley Hoffman. Parker Simmons. Cora Hare. Justin Smith. Connor Dow. Joshua Smith. Judy Esklick. Kaylin Walker. Juliet Gross. Olivia Ventries. Ivy Garza. Jennifer Vogue. Liliana Diaz. Ali Reynolds. Katie Deem. Emma Stubbs. Cameron Fry. Reagan Sharp. Emma Davis. Emily Strong. April Gear. Olivia Sim. William King. Hillary St. Clair. Bianca Diaz. Emily Tryon. Anastasia Diskey. Ellie Thomas. Brianna Duffy. Jack Wills. Kylie Davis. Sierra Thompson. Casey Guess. William Wise. Skylar Gregg. Ikra Uzman. Gracie Dawes. Rachel Stanley. Scotland Fowler. Sophie Stewart. Carmen Cleck. Sean Westoff. Kayla Hardaway. Samantha Ross. Hannah Holbrook. Abigail Rosencutter. Gregory Funk. Ava Wright. Haley Ferguson. Elizabeth Whitebrew. Caitlin Holm. Isley Stegger. Robert Fox. Easton Rampy. Thomas Ham. Joshua Wilhite. Logan Gellner. Benjamin Taylor. Eduardo Dominguez. Jackson Terhune. Carson Forsman. Gabriel Robinson. Adolfo Escalera. Dionisio Valentino. Mauricio Guillen Alcantar. Michael Valentino. Bren Brennan Stansel. Edwin Escobedo. Dakari Sanders. Brandon Jasso Geronimo. 
Elisha Wilson. Claudia Ibanez. Isaiah Tucker. Grayson Guardia. A Davion Rummins. Joshua Govier. Alan Scarborough. John Goodian. Kang Tram. Chase Johnson. Chloe Young. Serenity Garcia. Trey Wilcher. William Helterbrand. Tanner Silver. Jackson Dew. Jordan Wood. Vaughn Kent. Melanie Wills. Tyler Kingsley. Fabiana Rosales. Piers Dewey. Jenna Winfrey. Kayla Hopton Linares. Adamaris Torres. Samir Inan. Cindy Talamantes. Ian Flores. Daniela Sanchez. Caitlin Elliott. Trinity Smith. Sophie Hollingsworth. Fabiana Santiago. Brindley Hoop. Jessica Villegas. Darlene Davis. Tyler Robinson. Eden Dennis. Aiden Springer. Aaron Hall. Ray Sanders. Sahil Hassan. Matsum Smolko. Shamar Harding. Michelle Torres Castro. Devin Flanner. Andrea Zhang. Dwayne Finch. Demarius Reynolds. Jeremy Davis. Jane Wyatt. Eddie Davis. Jason Yang. Abigail Dewar. Ali Yang. Caitlin Frisbee. Andrew Zhang. Samantha Gayton, Carson Spencer, Cynthia Gutierrez, Tyler Shoemaker, Jeremiah Hawker, Ethan Rodriguez, Janessa Harp, Severn Torres, Brianna Jones, Ethan Bang, Blessing Folly, Caleb Schumar, Cameron Hensley, Cooper Thompson, Emily Heatherly. Caden Shunnen Sonnenberg. Aiden Heffley. Noah Ward. Ashlyn Job. 
Micah Stone. Abigail Haas. Felipe Roden. Ashley Fowler. Isaiah Sievking. Anna Jones. Elvis Zhang. Ava Kelly. Henrik Volden. Lydia Fears. Daniel Resendez. Jaden Coachmeyer. Austin Wagner. Elizabeth Fry. Kavisha Wisenji. Lucas Key. Agnes Vargas. Jaden Key. Sunshine Yang. Chloe Hall. Natalie Vang. Nadia Key. Misha Zhang. Cameron Hurt. Joseph Tang. Corbin Johnson. Angel Tran. Benjamin Gilfoyle. Skyler Tim. Cameron Doyle. Jacob Wallace. Austin Harris. Aaron Watson. Cole Holder. Matthew Wood. Gage Johnson. Ryoko Weisinger. Braden Hicks. Caleb Williams. Luke Droll. Tristan Rogers. Landon Kapke. Gabriella Tim. Caleb Gillette. Jose Del Cid. Alora Schellenbarger. Jenna Gordonier. Brianna Stevenson. Holly Grennan. Harmony Rorks. Lexi Hendricks. Elizabeth Veron. Eli Haynes. Addison Vaughn. Mason Hewitt. Bella Winholt. Madison Hopkins. Carmen Sutherland. Chloe Forbes. Megan Yang. Hayden Hartmeyer. Michael Zhang. Tanner Harris. Aiden Zhang. Maddox Shook. Noah Lofton. J. 
Jaden Wynn. Joshua Wooten. Ariana Smith. Jayla Suggs. Dylan Reed. Luis Talamantes. Ashley Soyset. Jordan Smith. Sylvia Smith. Jackson Swant. Hunter Thompson. Raul Soto. Alexander Pasley. Ellie Jones. Samuel Smithy. Kanan Schaller. Jonathan Higgins. Caitlin Sherman. Peyton Stevens. Caitlin McMullen. All right, good evening again, everybody. And I can't believe to, it's only 9.08 and we've graduated about 1,400 seniors this evening. And I'm gonna ask a teacher to grab that ball for me. Thank you so much. Come on. <laughs> All right. It's a beautiful ceremony. Seniors, again, we're so proud of you. Um, once we are finished with the turning of the tassels and the playing of Tiger Pep, seniors, you are to dismiss to meet your friends and family, take pictures, and then attend project graduation at, B at BAHS. Admission will take place from 10.30 to 11 p.m. in the gym lobby, and students will be released at 2 a.m. Food and activities will be provided. And now, Mr. Tackett, would you please return to the podium, please? The Senior Executive Board has decreed that we will meet again in the City of Broken Arrow at a place to be announced in the year 2033. Class 2023, please stand! Grab 
graduates of 2023. Two.